Let me get a closer look at that. Hold on, hold on. That's the village of Shadowbop. Yeah, I believe that is from Warhammer Total War. I use a lot of Warhammer artwork for just about anything. Right, well, I never played the game. I've kind of been interested it's in It's got it. great concepts. All right, well, but, it's it's going again, but I, I literally get no internet connection I really right don't. now. Without without my Wi-Fi, there's no cellular internet right now. So these stone bridges, Rosnessy, obviously, it up, but these. are built for big travel. So as you cross over to the first bridge, you get onto the main island, but you notice there is a small bridge leading off to another small island with what seems to be a pyramid that's just in the center. It may be just a grave, or maybe something else. Who wants to go grave robbing? I mean, I was about to say, I suggest we go. Well, the, okay. Uh, I me suppose if our, me and if our fearless me. friend here wants to, we can go. Yeah, we can go. Me and Alex are the best thieves here. Let's go grave robbing. I'm, yeah. I'm not feeling good today, y'all. Okay? Yeah, I, I get you. As you cross the second bridge, you notice the large pyramid, but it's average. It's about the size of a five-story building. It's not too grand. Okay, not hold too on here. Hold on. Is, is this a large pyramid or an average pyramid? Because it's an average said, size pyramid. Okay. <laughs> it's an average. Uh, I mean, pyramids are naturally large, but well, this they, one's about five stories high. Yeah, large to us, average in pyramid size. Uh, okay, yeah. whatever. And you notice that there are small little indents at the bottom of the base. Like somebody's trying to dig around like a small trench in order to pick up the pyramid and carry it, which that seems like an impossible feat, but obviously somebody's trying to get to the bottom of it. But as you go to investigate, mummies, zombies wrapped up in linen, start crawling out of the ground. There are I'll least, leave this one to you, Cassie. There are at least four of them, and they're coming to charge at you. So, talk to them? everybody needs to them. Everybody needs to them. Everybody needs to them. Yeah, yeah. Roll initiative. Let's hope Cassie gets first. I rolled a 20. 13. Okay. Oh, let's see. Uh, is it D20? Oh, yeah, the D20. Uh -huh. I got a 1. Which one? Yeah, you got a 1. I got 11. a fucking 1. No, you got a 1 <laughs> plus yeah, your. Better. Initiative modifier. You have all that I got six. Oh, shit. That's right. We have initiative modifier. I got 22. So I got a, tw uh, a 17. All right. Oh, 22, 17, six, oh, that's six, so I got 12. and 12. Okay. So <coughs> I use this to... So Cassie has 12. Yeah. Charlie, what you got? 22. 22. He goes first. Do I get, Alex, a, do I, do I get a... 17. Um, 17. Do I get like a... Six. Six. All right. So now it's time for the dummy mummies to throw up. Dummy thick mummies. Dummy thick mummies. Yeah. Dummy thick. Dad. Dummy thick mummies. They're extra. They're packed up with extra emolient fluid. It's leaking out of them as we're walking. It went behind you. Yeah. As soon as he rolls the initiative, we'll go through our normal course. Let's see if we can talk to him first. You know, because the first zombies uh -huh. we met were just so very nice. I wonder if they have any relevant knowledge from this era. I doubt it. Very hard to doubt it. Jesus Christ, these mummies are terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry, our cleric is hey. currently out. They just stuffed their mouth. Oh, wait, chocolate. hang on. We have one that actually made it past ten. So one of them will definitely be Oh, oh, oh and then we got daddy money. Daddy money. <laughs> What's their initiative plus? Um, their initiative plus is, uh, is what? one. What? So, I have advantage on persuasion on a friendly creature. So I can persuade a friendly creature to come and help us, and then I can add plus ten to their attack. Can't yes. you talk to them because they're dead? Right. I can add plus ten. One of the mummies is exceedingly strong. One of the mummies seems like it used to be a warrior, dressed in armored garb that is rusted and very old. Now, obviously, Charlie, you go first. <laughs> so, you got big war mummy, and then you got two villagers, and then you have... A little mm, bitch. Basically, average, six foot, looked like he was a farmer. All right. 
may I ask a few questions about these mummies first? Go ahead. So, do I know any weaknesses of theirs? Their weaknesses... I'm asking you, but does my character know? ...are easily charming. That means that they are dumb as fuck. What about elemental weaknesses? <clears throat> Fire. Okay, I want to say this first. I, I know this, right. I want to say this first, though, okay? Mm -hmm. Until we know what they want, y'all need to get it to where I can go and talk to them, so y'all don't need to do nothing to... So, Charlie... Harass them, them or anything because y'all cannot talk to them. So y'all need to like pass y'all. You may be able to talk to something. maybe one or two of them because I I'll explain once it gets to your turn. <clears throat> right, as long um, as they're a dead corpse, I can talk to it. Well, can you tell? Can you talk to them telepathically or? Um, like, it just says. Do they have to hear? May I ask. They have to hear. Okay. Yeah. Because um, the warrior one has no ears. Okay. Well, I'll be able to talk to the other ones. <laughs> like, its ears got cut one off. of their ears off and put it on the big one? <laughs> I mean, at this point, they're like, as they're like, literally, I picture them as they're making them into mummies, the ear falls off because they're rotting corpses, and they're like, well, shit, I guess they're not getting ears. <laughs> and they just keep wrapping them up. I'm going to put on my, whatever they put on as my action. That way I have an armor class. I had no armor class before. Excuse me. I, I, I took off all it, my clothes, so I lost my armor You class have no armor class. Yes, so, I just put on whatever the whatever the clothing was that they put on. Baby, you've got to move your feet. I mean, I cannot technically like speaking, I don't even think we gave those an armor class because they were just a cheap disguise. Well, I'm putting my own armor back well, on. Well, lucky for y'all, lucky for y'all, <laughs> the monkeys actually have a very low armor class. Okay. They're actually the lowest armor class in the game with 10. So... That's the lowest in the game. But we put it on yeah. top of our other armor, though, so we still have our other armor class. Yeah, yeah I just but put he's my armor back naked. on. Naked. He's yeah, I was over here with my dog. <laughs> <and he's laughs> his people. slightly robotic fake penis that he has surgically attached. Yeah, Why is it got to be fake and robotically? I mean, I'm surgically. You chose, you chose a race of elf that when I mentioned it to the guy I work with, he was like, the fuck is that like a five E thing? And he looks it up online. He goes, "It's a five E thing." I haven't like I played one through four, and I haven't played five yet. And they come out with a new elf. There's like sixteen it, no, fucking the, elves now. That's a homebrew. The four claimers oh. is actually a custom. Home, it's a homebrew. It's class. actually on the D and D wiki page, though. Yeah, no, it's, it's it wasn't, or it's not in the handbook anywhere. They're like a race of least. they're like a race of uh, ancient drow that use gems as yeah. their source of power source. So yeah, yeah. I understand what they are. Yeah, they're, they're just a, not in the book. I did a lot of research on each one of your character types. Oh, that's nice. So, I love the feel this. It's hard to find You know about. that there is, like, a race of feelists where they're really tiny, right? Yes. Okay, cool. I did her class. They're called Kites. And they're, they're like, halfling-sized cat people. And they're amazingly cute. Because when Josh <laughs> was like, wait a minute, what is she called? A Kite? And he looks it up and he's like, Oh my god, this is the cute... This is this is fucking amazing. He yeah, started, like, like, he started emailing it to his personal email. Um, was, like, you're you're about a knee height on me. Why am I so tall? Because all the pictures I've found of the Felices are all this tall. Okay, maybe knee height on Josh. All right, Matt. So, yeah, because they're all like this tall. You're tiny to me. Bottom line is, is their armor class is 10. Okay. They got a 30 HP. All right. So, these are, so you have... Um, you have four targets... Uh -huh. One that has a sp specifically higher armor class because he's wearing ancient yeah. armor. And that one is obviously a warrior, hey, and it's going to deal a little we bit more damage. Drink, so, what exactly are you going to do to, this spell, to these spells? Okay. Nothing. You're gonna I'm do just nothing. going to prepare my defenses. Are right. hoping that do you have any defense raising spells or anything like that? No, I do not, but I'm hoping that just being prepared. I mean, he already did one turn. action point this turn. Yeah, I did put on my armor. Yeah. Okay, well, that was... Okay, he, so he put back on your armor, oh, so... Yeah. I'll get it. Just kind of prepared. Your armor class is back up. Yeah. All right, so, Mummy 4, Thank a.k.a. You. the Warrior Mummy, has a... Spot. He has a plus 2 to his uh, armor class... So he's now at 12 AC, and his health points are at 40. Did you roll for when they got to go? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay, this is the mummy for this. What's is the, the warrior order? Hmm? What's the order? Okay, Charlie goes first, then the warrior mummy. Mm. Um, then Alex, you're up next. Uh -huh. And then mummy three, who rolled 16, 
he goes up next, which is the uh, strong hand farmer. Mm -hmm. It basically is a mummy with a sun hat. Yeah. Carrying a plow. As okay, we got one too many fuckers with a sun hat. One of these is dying. Yeah. And then after. So, Charlie's first. This second. Um, third. Fourth. Okay. And then. Cassie, you're fifth. Oh, man. And Matt, you're sixth. And then there's. Just. It's too hot. The, the, the to mummies it. that rolled three <laughs> as their initiative. Literally, they rolled a three as their initiative. They're going to attack at the same time. Okay. I'm going to morph them together so they essentially came out of the same coffin. They're like lovers or twins. Lovers or twins. Lover twins. You don't know incest. Six incestuous mummies. Oh, yeah. no, he says lovers or twins because he couldn't make up his mind if he wanted to be lovers or twins. Lovers and twins. I mean, twins. I could make them, uh, I could make them to where they were like... twin incest. <laughs> they could be forged together, so it could be a two-headed mummy. I don't think that's a thing, though. But no, let's continue. Is, that is, no. Okay, so... So the warrior mummy warrior is going mummy. to attack Matt. Moon is inside some cabinet. So, Here Matt, what's your sure AC? My AC? Yeah. Armor class. Armor class, bro. Oh, yeah, for right now it is... It doesn't change. It, it doesn't 18. change. No. I added that with my hard stone. I haven't done that yet, so it's You haven't 18. done that yet, so... Yeah, so it's 18. It's naturally 18, yeah. Mm. And he knew the same. Okay, so. <laughs> he hits. The money you're using my original D20. Hmm? Look how you're using my original D20. Of course. So, <laughs> he hits, and he's going to use Slam, which <coughs> is 1D8 one D, one D plus 2 of. Uh, this is a D10. This is a D8. Alright, plus two, so. I use the tropic words. When the enemy attacks, can make reaction You can't do that. You can't do that. Yeah, it's not your turn. It's not your, it's not your this turn. This is a D8, by the way. What is this? That's a D8. I mean, maybe you could have used that if the enemies were about to attack, but it's one not, D8 no. And what no. Else? Yeah, it's, it's in response turn. to attack. You have to let that know. What, yeah. what else do you need? Uh, no, just a D8. Just D8, okay. Yeah, because this is. I'm uh, grab it for you. This is two D eights uh, of bludgeon damage. Okay, Plus two is the final thing. So you take oh, eight. Uh, thirteen. Amber just had uh, a corn, so she has So you take thirteen plus two. You take fifteen total Elizabeth. damage. She's making her something. The warrior She's zombie like charges at you full so. speed, raises both of its arms up, and just crashes them against your shoulder blades and knocks you into the sand. Hulk smash. Hulk smash zombie style with. <laughs> With him just be like <laughs> underneath the wrap of his mouth, he's basically saying, "I just made you my bitch." Next well, one. That, How much damage that did he do? He did his fifteen. Means. Holy fuck! Fifteen he from only a slam. Six life. Each arm dealt like one d eight, and he went double, and then it added two because of his uh, initiative roll addition. Oh yeah, thirty one. His life. priority rolls, I like to call it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, let's see. Mummy went neck. Uh, Alex. Yeah. Um. Let me see here. I think. I don't think that was outrageous, but that's still not a Hold on a second. I mean, one zombie just crushed your partner's spine. It is a warlock and a dragon. Is there anything around here that I could hide behind? Why are you always hiding? Roll for roll for a investigation check. What would investigation be here? You have to investigate the one around you. Investigation, which is intelligence. Mm, you know what? No, perception. Perception's better. Oh, okay. Perception. Yeah, yeah perception's better. Okay. Because you got to be knowing of your surroundings. Uh, I mean, you where is surroundings. where is perception? It's under wisdom. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Uh, so I have a plus three in that, a seventeen. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, and I got a seven in perception. Okay. So what what dice would that be? Mm, make it a d twenty. Okay, d twenty. Fourteen plus uh, seven, so yeah, that's that's good. <laughs> Are you that's proficient good. in that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. seven. Oh wow! Look at that. I mean, <laughs> he says he has multiple wow. eyes. Yeah, so. a lot of eyes. So he <clears throat> is very good in his proficiency of this perception. You noticed around our palm trees. Mm -hmm. It seems as though there's a little uh, oasis, like a small puddle of water that has came in from the beach side mm -hmm. that is over there. 
Uh, some bushes around that, mm -hmm. and a couple cactuses. Okay. Um, I'm going to use my um, cunning action to uh, go and try and hide in that bush. All right. Roll for your sneak check. Okay, let me see. For stealth, I have an 11. So, that would would that be a 1d20 again? Or? 11? Mm, isn't there a d12? Yeah, yeah, I think this is a d12. Since you have such a high proficiency in it, yeah. you can roll the d12. Two. Plus? Uh, plus 11. Alright, that's 13. You successfully sprint towards the bush. But you trip on your way there, you slide in the sand, and you do a baseball slide into the bush, but you realize it's not a normal bush, it's a cactus bush. <laughs> How much damage? You take two. Okay. Two damage. Okay. What did he roll? I wasn't paying attention to two. He, he rolled a tw He rolled like a 13. Yeah, he rolled a 13, Eleven. and he baseball slided into a cactus bush because he thought it was a normal bush. Mm. And then he got like prickers all over his butt crack. Okay. I mean, he doesn't have a butt crack, but whatever. He does now. God damn it, Charlie. <laughs> he has a butt crack. So says the DM. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> Alright, so, after that, uh, okay, let's so. see. Nope. Mummy 3 is going to attack oh, next. Yeah. So the farmer takes his plow, and he charges full speed at Cassie. Now, do you want to do anything in response to that? I, I have to pronounce to that now, apparently. In my, in my will. Hmm? Try to wrap him up in my whip. So you're going to go, you're going to attack him. I thought you were going to dump that. I was, does that count but... as an interception or is that an attack? Because that can't be an attack because he's on his attack, so it'd be a defense move. Yeah. I'm so to if he him. rolls a higher armor class, then the attack goes through. But if he rolls like around a certain area, you have a chance to do that as a defense move. But you're going to have to roll for percentage. All right. So. Um, and I'm not trying to kill him or anything. I'm no. wrapping his arm around I mean, his body. He, he's literally holding a plow on a metal pike as a weapon. It literally looks like Pyramid Head on a stick. Are you saying he's, he's trying to plow my wife? Yeah, okay. he's trying to plow your wife. So I'm trying to wrap him up so I can talk to him. All right. I feel sorry for your little kitty body. He rolled a 15. What's your armor class? 17. 17? Yeah. All right. So you have a chance to respond with a whip. So you roll. So we both roll. What is your whip damage? <coughs> Her whip is 1d4. 1d4. We both roll a d4. And it's whoever has, right? Yeah. Whoever has the highest one. The pyramid. Um, if I roll the highest one, it's just he do you dodge it. If you roll the highest, you whip him. All right. So let's go. I got four. What you roll? You got a one. one. All right. So he goes for the attack, but he doesn't necessarily hits it. And instead, the whip trips him, and he falls. But he takes no damage due to him falling in the sand, the soft sand. So you have one on the ground, one that just <coughs> obliterated this dragon dude, and then two more who were just trying to figure out if they were dating in a past life or if they were brother and sister. So oh, they're still trying to figure that out. They're Shit. trying to. They're like. <laughs> Why don't they just decide to be both like any normal mummy would? <laughs> I don't know. At this point, it's just... I mean, it's not like it, they can do anything anymore. Their junk is falling off. And yeah, it really they is. They try. <laughs> All right. They could grind themselves to dust. Oh. Oh. oh! Just for that, I want you to roll a d4 for damage. A d4? That's no, for, no, 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 listen, listen. I rolled Just a three. imagine Take they're three. rubbing themselves together. Stop! Trying to get off. And then she'd be like, hey, go down on me. And he goes no, down. No, and like, be like, and he rubs his face. And then, like, his face starts to disappear. So does everything else. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want that. Yeah, let me go ahead and do okay. it for you too. You got a right. four. <laughs> so next up is Cassie. Now you have your ability to talk to. Uh, the, okay. the, God the only one you can't talk to is, is the warrior. The warrior, because his ears are cut off. I ask them what they're doing. Okay. And why they're attacking. So do you want to talk to Mummy One, Two? I'll talk to one on the ground beside me. Okay, so Mummy Three. All right. Does do you have to roll anything for that, or is it a? Let me see. What do you have for that uh, necromancy talk? Down here. The necro talk. Uh, 
it's not on the back. It's right here. It's, uh, uh, one AP. It's, it's a spell. It's a spell for ten, 10 feet in 10 minutes. All right, oh. roll for your arcana check. Which, what do I roll for that? She has to roll, since it's a spell, she has to roll for arcana check. She has to roll for wild magic, essentially. Huh? Well, you're not crippled by the madness. You were, but not anymore. Oh, I'm not crippled by madness. Well, because you beat the whispering witch that was in, um, it was in, um, Marshall. What do I? Marshall County. What do I? Remember the witch that crawled out of the dock? Okay, hold on. You mean the one I single-handedly killed while blind? Yes, you blew her apart. While blind. (laughs) While blind. It was devastating. Did you completely forget about that? What? No, I mean. Lying of the witch? No, yeah, I thought Charlie Man forgot about that. Nah. I kind of did. Okay, so what does she roll? She rolled for arcane check. 20. Okay. So she rolls a D. Oh, god damn it. I said otherwise. What? I was just eating this lollipop here, and there's a tiny little fragment of it that just fell on my leg. Oh. (laughs) 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 She rolled a 7. Plus her arcana is Ow. a two that nine nine pain. He knows that you're talking to him, but he, he just, just looks up from the sand and just stares at you with confusion. It's like pretend the JoJo thing is like a pot around his head. He's like Nani. he's just looking up Nani. at you like what are you doing? Why are you trying to talk to me? Alright. So that being said, sorry about that. Um, better luck next time. Now there will not be a next time. <laughs> yeah. Matt, I'm gonna start attacking. Yeah. Yep. No, no reason. Matt, At this point, we gotta kill. You are, you know, out of breath because all of it just got knocked out of you and just blew some sand away. So, what are you gonna do? Who are you attacking? Do they count as monsters? Yes. Oh, yep. Mm-hmm. I use hold monster. Monster. Paralyzes target. Target makes wisdom t- save. All right, which target? The warrior, the, warrior, the farmer, the or warrior. the okay? Just fuck him. Roll for your check. Um, what would I be rolling? A twenty, oh, unless 20. he says otherwise. Wait, let me see what it is. The bottom one. It's the bad one. One AP. One minute. Paralyzed target. Make wisdom save. Okay. So yeah, roll a twenty to see if it actually goes past the. Uh, one. He critically failed! You critically <laughs> failed! That's the fucking second time I rolled. Hey, wh- fucking once. <laughs> While you're in there, grab me a Dr. Pepper. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Wait, do I add anything to that? That's so great. Can I add anything to that? What did he just crit fail at doing anyway? His Arcana check. Can I add oh, anything to that? So whenever you're arcana, arcana. Are you, are you well, if you he just crit bonus? failed, I think your spell I just shot him, basically. Yeah. Still, that means he rolled a seven, but he rolled a one. Critical failures are almost any way a loss. Well, you got what, right? even if you got a crit failure and the plus six, you would have still had seven. So at this point, you paralyze yourself. Yes. <laughs> so you skip your, your attack turn the next time, so it goes from the fuck. <laughs> So it goes from Alex straight to the other two mummies because but you're I'm a ass. monster. How did I paralyze Wait, myself? No, no, no. It goes from Alex to me. No, uh, it, no, no. It goes Alex. Yeah, no, it goes from Alex to Cassie, okay. then to Matt. So after Cassie, it goes to the other two mummies okay. because even though if you're not a monster, you still roll a paralyzing check and it's a crit fail. Really? What do you want? A Dr. Pepper, you piece of shit. I Fuck want some you. Cocaine. Fuck you. May I have a coke? Ask her those are hers. Yeah. You already had one. That's gonna last me. Okay, I mean, there's sorry. an A and W. Did you already drink one? Holy yeah. Shit. There's an A and W over there. Give me oh, that fucking there. drink, you asshole. I, I guess you can. If I have to, I can stop and pick me up another some more. Just, um, no, I'm good for right now. Just pee into the bottle and re-drink it. Not bear grills. We're not going to be doing this shit on screen on stream, Charlie. We know where you sell the footage. <gasps> <laughs> you can't say YouTube because they don't monetize shit. No. No, I, I just I just sell all of it to Pornhub. Make money from lies. All right, so you Pornhub. use X Hamster. We all know. No, I use Pornhub because every video watch plants one tree. So I'm not doing no nut for November. I'm doing nut for nature November. 
I don't want to imagine right. that ever again. Please kill me and gouge All my right. eyes out. Charlie has so next up are the thing. other two mummies, and they're going to do a twin attack. They're going to try and do... Oh, okay. They both have embalming tools. That is unsettling. Both stuck inside their bodies, so they're going to rip them out. And they're going to attack... That <laughs> poor little paralyzed Maddie. <laughs> yeah, they only got 37. Wait. Yeah, 37 life. All right. I told us 46. Well, can okay. I make a can I make a reaction roll here? Um I won't on one of them. Um there are two one attacks. I would like to try and get in between them and him. <laughs> to attempt Roll for to... an acrobatics check cuz that means you're going to have to leap into well, battle. What if I use Okay. Um no, because dimensional uh, blender mm. shift wouldn't exactly work like that. So, okay, yeah. Acrobatics, I rolled. Eight, let's is, say it's a 13. I mean, that's on an edge, but sure, 13. Yep. My acrobatics is plus 2, so that's 15. You successfully get in front in between them, um, but they are closer than you would imagine. They're literally about mm, 2 feet away at this point. They are going to slash you unless you have something that gives you another action point and that you can use in response no nope, but i have attacks. a 13 armor class all right so it's time for them to hit you <laughs> so the first one's gonna roll 20 damn <laughs> motherfucker <laughs> so it's going to do a d i want to say a d 10 Fuck. of slashing damage and then the second one rolls nine Plus four to hit, so that's thirteen. It's gonna just deal one uh, d six. So we're gonna use the d ten. That second one's roll was lower, lower than my armor class. Was it? Yes. yes, my armor class. No man, it's thirteen. I thought it was. 16. <laughs> Never mind, I'm right. wrong. So uh, the There's first always. one deals one of slashing damage because this is the this is the d ten, right? Yes. Okay, so it deals one of slashing damage. Right, so it comes down hard. But you manage to somehow move out of the way to where it just, like, cuts you in the chest slightly. Now, the other one, I'm, I'm hoping like, to yes. God it doesn't miss. Like, yes. Slide me to me. Like, it slashed your clothes and now a nipple is showing. That's essentially what's happening. <laughs> you got you some desert cloth life. armor and you're showing some nipple. <laughs> Have Absolutely. Some class. Have some class. We are essentially in Saudi Rabaya. Because the name of the island. Never Iowa. say that again. The, the name of the island is Rabaya. Anyway, take your one damage. Uh, it's 54. It's really like Sonic Robaya? Right, yeah. My god. I thought you said fun. D6. It is, uh, this is a D8. I'll say that's your 6. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's, a, that's my shaved one, so yay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll let you re-roll that. Fuck! Six! Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Six! It deals six. So what as you dodge the one, seven and it comes across your chest like this, the other one just goes <laughs> and like hooks your shoulder. And then slams you to the ground and then rips it 55 out. 55 minus 7. 55 minus 7. That would be... S uh, 48? Yeah, 48. Sure. Matt, in my in my room, on my desk, i got a calculator yep, just 48. like that. Go get it for me, please. We all have a calculator like this. They we all have, have one. They all have uh, yeah. 30 except for the... Uh, big one. The big one. The big all right. Fucker. It's my turn, right? Actually, since... You know what? I'll make it easier on her. Two have 20. And one has 30 and the other has 40. Okay. Because they're so bad that somehow one dealt six damage to you. Right. One so, of them just yoinked. up first is Charlie. Yeah. He's, he's... Come on down. Try to defeat the Zomboys in Claw. I cast Summon Lightning to the two right Where's there Charlie? in front of me. Someone in your your bedroom? Yes. Charlie, Where? It should be somewhere on my desk. <laughs> Probably in the little cubby. So the All table's right. got to move. For just a second. Here, since I gotta get up and look for her, I'll go grab it. But I'm gonna be casting Summon Lightning, by the way. Alright, fair enough. And I'm going to be casting where the fuck is my dice gone? I dropped it. Yeah. <laughs> roll a roll dice. dice to determine your possibility. Fuck you! Roll for your probability! Probability of what? Yeah, I'm fighting his dice! The probability of me stabbing Maddie in the nuts. Wait, what? Thank you. Wait, what? He has no nuts. Charlie, why don't you let the shoe drawers pulled out? I don't know. Why are hookers playing? Alright, so. Why are lesbians? I was doing 
Someone Lesbians! Like, what? Dude, someone like me. Can I hit them both since they're right there next to each other? Um, and right there in front of me? God damn it. Where's that dice? Do you have anything that can give another attack sh uh, action point? It's fucking lightning. Charlie. Okay, how many <laughs> targets are being hit, though? Charlie. I'm targeting one, but aren't they like right there? Charlie, look at the camera. camera. Yeah. Huh? Hey! Crack kill that. Haynes! <laughs> Haynes Elastic. We're gonna have to end. I rolled that a nine out. plus my <laughs> nines. I rolled an eighteen. Welcome right. to Pornhub, <laughs> bitches. Um, do I need to roll for wild magic? I know I wouldn't do it last uh, time. Yep. Would be so no, fun. you don't. You don't have to roll for wild magic. But uh, since they are together, oh, I have lost um, the dice. I'll let it happen. Recover that. Like. So. But you have to, talk, every one of them takes individual damage, but it's a together uh, AC right. Which one did I lose? So you lead? have to break their AC. So what did you roll? Which one did I, I lose? 19. I mean, 18. I mean, 18 okay. obviously beats Six, two. Uh, 18 eight, obviously is... You know what? I'll let it slide. I'll let it slide. Eight, 20, I'll let it slide. So you can hit both of them. Okay. Now roll your uh, lightning damage to... 3D. <laughs> yeah. yeah. By the way. Charlie, which one of these dice am I missing? I only dropped one. Those are hers. Compare them. Keep going. I, I'm trying to find my D10. <laughs> so. Oh, I lost my D8. So Why did I say embalming, embalming tool? I meant six. Uh, embalming tool is basically a. Um, no, I know what it is. I'm just trying to figure out, like. Motherfucker, those are some terrible rolls. I got a five, a one, and a two. Alright, so one takes. Uh, bottom I guess one, that's two, yeah, so five, one, two, eight. eight. So it's down to twelve. The other one's taking how much? Oh, I'm rolling for both of them. Yeah, oh, they're taking on. individual lightning damage. Okay, I thought I thought you were just gonna split that up. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Let me grab that dice again. That's a six, three, and four. Six, three. And Sorry, four. that's a nine, three, and four. Nine, three, and four. Yes. Okay, so that's twelve plus four is sixteen. So this, so you managed to take one down to four damage left. Before it dies. And that is why I charged towards Matt to get right up on them. Well, so I was literally at point blank, hopefully, being. Alright, so them. next is the War Mummy. By the way, I forgot to do this. Yeah. Got it. My name is Ambusta. Oh, you found it? My name is Ambusta. Okay, thank Ambusta? you. Man. No, Arbusa. It's Arbusa. from Zelda. Uh, okay. She snaps her fingers at one point and lightning strikes and scares Zelda to death. I've seen so many, like, scares like, her to death. Scares. I have no idea. What, what the fuck are you doing? Porn? I don't know, man. Okay. Okay, like, whatever. They're equally like 100. What is War Mummy fucker doing? War Mummy They're fucker. reincarnated. He's going to attack. Hey, Matt, uh, could you move that over here, please? Move what? Uh, yeah. War Mummy fucker somehow saw Alex sprint up to... Hide the, the bush. Uh, cactus bush. In the fuck so bush, yes. he's charging at Alex. Um, okay. So, so would he, he's going to try, because he has no feeling in his body since the nerves are dead, he's going to Hulk slam Alex. So he's going to try and Hulk slam Cactus Bush. Yes. With me in. Yes. Okay. Well, now let me just take a look here. What am I about to do? Ah, yes. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna pop the fuck up out that bush, and and I'm gonna splash oil all over this fucker. Okay. Roll for, cause I got two flasks of oil right here. Roll for your acrobatics. So My you acrobatics jump. save. So you can 10. jump. Okay, so you can jump out of the thing. So roll a d12 for your acrobatics check. D12. Yep. Yeah, you know, this is the d12. I mean, I got a plus 10 in that, and I just rolled a 6, so that's a... 16. You successfully jump out of the bush without retaining any damage from the cacti. Okay. And... And now a probability roll for how much oil is actually going to get on him. Oh. And if it's actually going to damage his eyes. So probability... Uh, wait, eyes? What? I didn't uh, say anything about... I was just going to splash him with oil. Oh, well, okay. Roll probability to see how much oil is actually going to get on him. So roll. percentage? Yeah. yeah. Percentage. I thought I'd use the percentage. 90. That's a 90, yeah. Alright. He is... His cloth and his beef jerky skin is jerky covered skin. in Charlie. oil all the way down to his feet. You know, And he's he is just... He's taken aback, so oil. he stumbles back, yeah, but he's yeah. still coming in for his attack. 
Okay. Uh, was that both your action points, or was that one action point? Was no, that, that's just that's just one action point because okay. I got I got cunning action here. All right. Um, my second action point is I'm going to throw the lit tender box at him. <laughs> well, there is my job. Roll a probability check for a ha- roll a percentile to see if they will actually light. That's a hundred, basically. Well, it is. Double zero is a hundred. Oh my god! All right, so yeah, it's on fire. <laughs> it's on fire. And you throw it, and the zombie's on fire. <laughs> now, normally burn damage <laughs> would do a simple. Uh, as long as it stays on fire, it would deal a uh, regular ten. But since he is completely covered in it. It's going to be a 12. So he's going to be rolling a... T- uh, so roll a 12 to see how much fire damage is actually dealt. Roll a 12-sided, okay. Yep, but there's yeah. no addition to it. Okay, okay. 12. <laughs> All right, so that zombie... Oh, yeah. So that zombie goes down from 40 minus 12. Oh, yeah. oh wait. Let me let me remove one of my oil flasks here. Yeah. How much oil did you have? Where did you even get oil? It was in the kit. Yeah, yeah right. when I when I was making the character, oh. I got a kit. Oh, okay. so yeah, I didn't take most of the things off the kit. Minus twelve. I took like the parchment paper and shit. So yeah, he's on fire, and now it's my turn to actually attack. Because um, that was just a reaction. Wasn't that it? was the reaction. Yeah. But he's still in his phase. Oh, he okay. has yet to actually use his action point to attack. He's okay. simply coming at you. Okay. And you jumped out of the bush, splashed him with oil, let him on fire, and now he's like, oh, I'm on fire, but I'm still going to come at you. Okay. So he's going for his slam attack, which is a d20 mm-hmm. to break your armor class. Okay, yeah, yeah 16. 16. 17. <laughs> okay. okay. So Fine. you're going to take 2d8 plus 2 of damage. 2d8. Okay. Yep. Roll so 2d8s. This on. is 10. This is the 8. All right, so... 5 plus 8, 13 plus 2, so that's 15. You take 15 damage. Okay, 15 so damage. 80 minus 15. Uh, yeah, you know what? 65. Add two more to that because he's on fire and you take fire damage too. <laughs> Should have light him on fire. He can't feel the fire. No, you can. But you can. <laughs> Barely. He's like. He's basically in his head like, I know I'm on fire, and I know I'm going to die from this, but I don't feel any pain right now. This motherfucker's about to feel pain. We just lit a zombie on fire. Where'd it go? Yeah. You alright? There's a faggot on me. Rape! That's not rape. This is how you get rape. Stop! Get the choker in the ball gag. Stop, 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 stop. Get the choker in the ball gag. Stop. Damn it. Hey, where's our ball gag? But this is Pornhub. Stop! Damn it. Guardian right. videos are on Pornhub. We know they are. So all my videos are on there. I've seen every single one. Did right. you know it's called word porn? So yes, you're just sitting in oh, front so of the you're... camera, speaking words. Yeah. Three. So he just smashed me. Alex. So no, it's my turn. Yep, yeah, it's your turn. Alex just got smashed. Yeah, I just got smashed, but I lit him on fire. That was his reaction. Yeah. <laughs> Alex enjoyed getting smashed. I thought he always enjoyed it. <laughs> I thought he never. I thought it never happened in the first place. <laughs> okay, okay, let's let's move on. Do you on. have to hand it to a real man? Oh. I opened oh. it! There's oh, not, God. There's not one in oh, this God. house. Oh, There's not one in this house, so I can always go. Where are you gonna go? Go across the okay. street and have your well, hand go uh, in? No, I'm gonna go across the street and have Roland open. Seeing as how he's undead, yeah. Yeah, I knew that I'm going to too. kill the big fucking mummy. Uh, I'm going to try to use my, um, my crossbow. And I have proficiency in a crossbow. Okay, well, um, it does 1d8 plus 4 damage. Alright, well, you have to break his armor class. Okay, then, so roll d20. Yep. What's his armor class? Uh, his armor yeah. class I was to hit your is. Mail. His armor class is 12. That's a 9. Plus? Uh, my 4 proficiency. That's 13. You yeah. hit him. Okay. So. How much damage is he taking? Uh, yeah, let me roll my D. Okay, let's not question that. Sure. I'm sorry for not getting sued. 
Alright, hey, uh, Alex. 1d8 plus 4 damage. Yeah. Let's see. Do your shit. And 8. <laughs> 8 plus 4? 12. Yeah, he just took 12. Alright, you took another 12. So that's 28. There you go. I'm going to give you the, the, the whacking. Is he still on fire? Whacking. Yes. <laughs> and when it comes back to him, he will take uh, a d... He'll take a d12 of fire damage. But right now, he's at 16 health. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a kill. I'm a, I'm a kill big mummy fucker. <laughs> I'm not gonna bother fighting big mummy fucker. Yeah, don't. No, go for the go for the twin cess. Now it's I'll time for, for the, the farmer. Okay, it's time for the farmer mummy, mummy to no, do help, his help me with the twin cess. Farmer John, he's coming over. Farmer there. John's coming well, go, over. Yeah, there. go after Farmer John then. <laughs> he's attacking Charlie. The twin cess. Yes. <laughs> I love when they attack me. <laughs> he's swinging his big old plow. <laughs> Yeah! His big old plow. Do have any reactions? Plow me, bitch! Okay, cool. <laughs> What's your armor class? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just roll a crit. No, he rolled a two. Oh. Plus uh, six, so. Farmer Zombie is about an eight. He misses completely. What the fuck, man? His plow. It's him. His. Uh, Mr. Plow just face planted again. He slipped in sand. <laughs> Like, that's essentially what happened. How much damage did he take? I mean, you got no fucking grip in sand, man. Well, I mean, it would help if he Nobody's some... wearing Crocs. Can I make a reaction to him falling? I want to just get on his back and grab him by his hair and hold him. No. Okay. No. God Plus, man. even hey, if you did... Hey, it's my turn. Um, I mean, even if you did, Charlie... Hang on. Yeah, it is. Even so... if... Gotta ride him. No, I mean, even if you did, his hair would just come off his head because his scalp would pull He actually off. has ah. no hair. I think they shaved uh, oh, people they when do. they put they him do. in the I think they did, right. Oh, they, did. Yes, they, did. they, they did. shaved him completely bald, and then they put the embalming fluid, and they did the whole ritual thing. Can you imagine actually, how no, it's first they remove the, the, the organs from the brain strength, STG. and put it into, yeah, into jars, okay. then they embalm. So the that thing is, I the think these are the just the plus two. people that they decided to throw in the coffins okay. and put in the pyramids. Because the warrior one, if anybody rolls an investigation check for the warrior, he actually has a distinct backstory. By the way, can I just say something to the rest but of the group? But that has to be to somebody who can talk necrotic, which Ah, well, that does me no good, because I have a plus nine in investigation. Can well, I can just... Can you talk to the dead? I can. Okay, well, uh, if you want, you can try. She doesn't have investigation, though, I don't think. No. Um, what were you about to say, Alex? Yeah, I, I was about to say something to the rest of the group as an in-character. Okay, right here. You know, something tells me that we may actually need these guys alive. Seeing as how there's all those grips underneath the pyramid. Despite the fact you've already burned the one of them. And almost killed him. I, I know. I don't, I, think know I don't think they're big fans of the lizard boy. I know it's, I know it's, you know, I know it's a little late for that, but just I, thinking out loud here, I don't think five people, four people can actually lift this up by themselves. I could just move they it to a different They won't work with us, though, because you've already... Destroyed. Well, if you can manage to get to the pyramid, you can do an investigation check without consulting the rest of them and then tell the information after like, the battle. Okay, well. I could run to it and do something. So, I use my claws. It's her turn. I use my You're claws. You're paralyzed. Shut claws. up! I use my claws to stretch the twin zest ones. Okay. And I can do 1d4 plus strategy. That's passing. great. We're just okay. great. So, uh, do you want to hit one or both? Okay, do you want to hit the one with four health or twelve? Let's do four. Okay, hit the one with four. Oh, no, you'll break up the twin That's says. two plus two, so that's four. Uh, that's for the damage? Did you roll for the, no, uh, she break the armor class? Yeah, you gotta break the armor class. You gotta break the armor class. Your modifier goes on the twenty, not the uh, damage. So that's, I mean, uh... Their armor class is ten. Nine so plus two, so that's eleven. Yeah, that's eleven. Okay, yeah, then what did you roll? A two. A two. A two, plus anything with the damage? Uh, yeah, it is plus strength on damage, so uh, yeah, yeah, it is another plus two. So, we have four. four. Okay, yeah, he's four. dead. No, twin cess. One zombie dies, and it's twin cess, uh, They're it just, just was, it. it was just like, and it's just, it's very pissed. It's doing the whole end of platoon, why, thing. Yeah. But why? it's zombie, so it's like, so, oh, I know it like Waluigi. It is your fault. Because you have no defining character. 
You're literally in sports games. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm tired of people being like Waluigi be put in Smash. We, we he need, does nothing specific we, we at all. But Waluigi. he is the perfect body we for need Smash. Waluigi. He Waluigi. 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 Everyone. Isn't he in Mario Kart somewhere? We yeah. need Waluigi in Smash Bros. Fuck that other bitch. He's we have Mario Sans Party. in Smash Bros. Just be fucking happy. Wait, we have Sans. No, that's fake. Yes. We have Sans. Oh my no, god. No, that was fake. No, it's no. actually the gunner class for the me. You can use the oh, yeah, Sans yeah, yeah, outfit. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. There was a Sans outfit. That's right. Yeah. Alright, so. One zombie's dead. Or one mummy's dead. There's three mummies remaining. Cassie already did her thing. Are we not going to kill them? So, Matt. Shut no, we the fuck up. We're going on <laughs> to the next one. Yeah, Matt. I do what I want. So. Whatever. I do what I want. Whatever. I do what I want. This Eric. Thank you, Cam. I'm Honey Boo Boo. <laughs> the standards have fallen entirely too low. Let us I've had that. three heart attacks. Fuck I'm you. a beauty queen child. Okay. I'm going to get my heart and play with a pig. Okay, we got I want that one. God damn it, No, that one gave me the evil. Stop the evil. right now. We're going to get you, sued Lord, by Comedy you. Central. Dude, Southport don't give a shit. <laughs> they're ch- they attacked China, and then China banned them. And they're going, and they legit said an apology that basically went, we're sorry. Like, have you ever seen that BP that episode? That one with the BP oil fucking fucking fucker. Yeah. Care. We're sorry. 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 <laughs> it's basically that's what they did. All right, so embodied tool. To do he's gonna attack Cassie. Yeah. So we're he's going to embalm the kitty. Do you like have any responses? No, we're you not embalming. Talk to him is, again. Uh, <coughs> what? We're right, roll for your thing. What, what do I roll? You roll your arcane check. You know something? This Winning? is a good yes. question. They yeah. used to mummify cats in ancient Egypt. Was that just an early form of taxidermy? Yes. yes. No, because cats in er- early Egypt were royalty. Yeah, they were, man. That was. They were, what are you talking about royalty? They were godhood. Yeah, so, they yeah. were. And Moon is a descendant. His breed of cat. Mm-hmm. He's uh, I doubt his breed of cat is part is uh, is one of the Egyptian breeds that yes. are native to Egypt. Mine are the closest to feral I mean. bobcats. It's a tortoise shell. He is it actually is. one of the higher up like, of the cat breeds of. Egypt. That's why. That's why okay. it's so hard to give him a bath. Water right. doesn't stick to him. It Go rolls ahead. off. Two. Oh, that's not good. Again, it's plus. just it, it's plus Arcana. Okay, oh, plus Arcana. Plus two. Yeah. Plus two, so four. Yeah, that makes a difference. Well, Do you have any saving you throws might. in Arcana? Do you want to use one of your initiative checks to re-roll? Like, uh, what? You mean inspiration? Inspiration. No, All like, I have is one. And she Ooh. does not. she's not proficient in saving throws on our... By own. the way, are we that going to be seven. getting any inspiration during this campaign? Because, I mean, I know some people in here have been going based on... You all their... have one right now. I don't. I have none. Because you uh, used it. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. Used it. But you never got one, and you've been sticking to character I have one. very much. He has one. Oh, he does. Everybody has I one. Feel, I've already used one, even. And the only way to get inspiration is to finish an actual battle, which none of you have or to fucking be, done. Or <laughs> you can be awarded as by the DM for sticking to your character. Yeah. Oh, okay. All yeah, right, well, that's why I never gave any inspiration to Chris. Uh, I, I thought, yeah, I thought that was the only way to character. get inspiration was well, to Well, for this one, the whoever people. wins, like, if your party wins a battle, each of you get one inspiration point. You can also use... And you also get your experience points, which you can trade in for your inspiration points. So if you don't want to necessarily level up, you can get an inspiration point instead. Okay. I'd rather level up. Now, okay. inspiration points could also be used, if the DM allows it, to just take a roll. And so, say, you tell me to roll a d20, I say, can I just take a 15? And you can just approve that, and that's an inspiration point. All right. That works. Inspiration can be used what? for anything that you approve. First, I gotta break her armor class. He's coming at you with a sickle. He hits himself. Ah! <laughs> he swings downward and he, he just he basically rolled a six. He stabs himself and in the he swings he didn't lick down all of it with all. the sickle uh, and Other tool finger. Game. <laughs> it's there basically a body tool where they use to like hook it and then pull mm. the skin back. Uh, he hooks his skin I'm sorry. and then pulls it back. It takes, uh, he takes four slashing damage, so oh. he's now at eight. I'm sorry, no, I'm over here deep throating my wife while you're talking. That's fine. We, we all knew she was the one who had the dick. Now, Charlie, Yay. save us all. Or die. 
Or die. Yeah. Yeah. Preferably the second. Preferably die. Yeah. I want to cast planar shift and I'm just going to fucking leave. What? I'm joking. No. No. <laughs> FDM, I veto that shit. GM block. <laughs> yeah. You cannot exit this world. At all. I just want to go to the Nine Hells. I don't give a dick. Oh, you can't even say damn because I want to go to the nine. No, the reason now. why I say dick is because my dick is bigger than your damn. <laughs> All right, let's pull them out. Uh, no. Let's measure. Can't problem. I man. will slice them off if you do. No, I don't. All right. Necessarily. Um. Well, then again, if it's cold enough, I could just whatever. Go ahead. What? <laughs> go ahead. What was that? <laughs> I cast summon lightning. Yeah. I roll a uh, five plus my nine that. 14? 14, sure. So which one are you hitting? Warrior, farmer, or twin sense? Incest. Uh, I rolled a four, it. so warrior. You mean warrior for cheesy porn? porno music? Yes. Okay. Um, so, warrior's hitting it. So roll your three uh, d6s. <laughs> 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 I get. I think it was non copyrighted okay, cheesy look, porno no, music, too. Um, there's a wrestling show called AEW, and they were doing a Halloween show, and one of the wrestlers came out as Sans. Like, <laughs> his entrance theme had, like... Megalovania. No, it had Megalovania, but it also had the Demon Flowery, and right, it was talking about things. how, you know, you abandon your fans in Japan, you are now wrestling in America, you are nothing but a liar, and your friends have devoted you, and you will be left with nothing! And then Sans goes, do 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 and he pops up and he goes, mind if I handle this, Kenny? Let me in. And then all of a sudden it goes, and he walks out in the Sans Halloween costume, and his pyro goes off as he goes, and then he just walks in the ring. It was actually pretty funny. Nineteen. So, Night. <laughs> <laughs> I have crippling depression. <laughs> he will after doing with my character. His health is now negative three. <laughs> Hey, I brought him back to life! So, he did. Wait, well, I just shocked him back to life! I no, took him to well, actually, hang on. He does have something called fortitude, which if damage reduces to less than zero, basically if it goes into the negative after damage is dealt, I can make a DC roll of great with a D10 greater than five. So, if I roll greater than five, he comes back, but his health is whatever I roll that's greater than five. So he's going to come back and probably like a Do six. it! That worked. Ten. <laughs> His health is back at ten. Fuck! So, he uses fortitude. Which one He gets this? electrocuted. Was this, this is the warrior. The warrior. Okay. Which is kind of a good thing because... Hey, wait, wasn't he supposed to take twelve damage? He was supposed to take a D10 damage. <laughs> right. Okay. So... This is another thing, though. Oh, wait, no. We kind of no, wanted him turn. alive. Okay. So, basically, when Charlie's done after he's electrocuting him, which, I mean, you killed him, he rolled in response his fortitude check, and he came back up to 10, so now he's going to be rolling a D12 Can't, to figure out if fire is still on him. Hold on. What? Can I try and make an insp a, uh, investigation check before he gets too far into this? Uh, at the beginning of his... At the beginning of his damage check... Or at the end. Because if you do it at the beginning, you won't get really much anything. I mean, you will understand what he is. But if I do it at the end, he may be dead. He may be just burned to a crisp. Yeah. I don't know how fast you could put out the fire. I pee on him. <laughs> but first, let's see how he rolls on a D12. Okay. Um, <laughs> D12. That's this one. That's do, one of my favorite. Do a D12. It's the, it's the one that looks like a meteor. Come on, just do a D12. Come on, do the D12. One. One. Okay, so he goes down to nine health after <laughs> taking dumb. one of fire damage. It's basically, he got electrocuted, but there's still like a small bit of flame on his shoulder. It's like a little flame. I must have soaked all the air out when I did it. Alright, so would you like to make an investigation check? I would uh, love to before, try. Uh, okay, so he's about to go to his attack, but you're going to make an investigation check um, on him as he's recuperating from taking fire damage. I rolled a 10 plus 9. Okay. 19. So you see, after some of the cloth has burned away, he seems to be wearing guard armor. Specifically, null mage armor. Which, once you get into the bazaar, you'll figure that what that out. 
Um, but his ears are cut off. His eyes are blind, like blinded. It looks like somebody purposely blinded him instead of taking them out. His mouth is sewn shut, and his armor is still in pristine cause in condition after all that wrapping. Now, there's some armor, obviously, on the outside of the wrapping and poking through, but it was just damaged by the fire, so... But the rest of it actually looks pristine. What you find out is that this person was a no mage that seemingly has heard something and has seen something he wasn't supposed to see. So, instead of being, you know, you know, be quiet, focus on your religion, and just walk on through the bazaar, he was murdered brutally because after the charred fire uh cloth dissipates you see a giant hole in his stomach some it looked like something very large like a giant fist hulk size just popped out his stomach are you foreshadowing yeah okay mm. so this warrior basically heard too much seen too much and got punched by a god Someone fisted him. Yeah. Somebody fisted his stomach. It is, you literally see like one hanging intestine just dangling in his hole. It looks like a clock. Just... Why are you hitting me? So, now it's going to attack you for shocking him. So he yeah. is going to be rolling for I'm on boat 20. Death. I mean, fire is their... their probability. I know, but I'm trying to bring his ass back ah, to life. Fucking fuck a duck. Fuck a what duck? Fuck Why a duck? the ducks? What? I should go fuck a goose. Donald Duck has been having it good for too damn long. Okay. <laughs> Somebody needs to take what about that Scrooge sailor duck? to the poop deck. No, what you we can't, no, we can't fuck. No! Hold on. We can't fuck with Scrooge McDuck. It's after Halloween. Yeah. Scrooge McDuck, he's, he's gotta, he gotta give all the money to little tiny Tim. Yeah. No, we're going to screw him, and then he's going to pay us. No, yeah. that's not how it works. That's, that's how prostitution works. It's more like you rob him and rape him. Rob him, rape him, retreat. It's the three R's. Don't you know how? Okay. I thought I'm it was going... prostitution. I am we not about to stick my dick in a cartoon duck's ass. I think you need to be talking to someone Haven't about Haven't you these. seen Robot Chicken, that episode where they find out what happened to the triplets' real mom? Jesus Christ. <laughs> and she was a prostitute. Haven't you seen that episode where Charlie <laughs> needs hell. to step in and stop this? All right, nope. so he's rolling. He's going to try to hit your armor class. Four. And he rolls a four. And he... <laughs> <laughs> he just stands there. <laughs> he's like, he's basically just. Uh, I like, am your king. Where's me? Like he's. Going, mm, mm, mm. I think we should unmummify this fucker. I am your king. That would Obey require you. a very high spellcast of race dead. No, no, I mean just remove the bandages from it. Well, you gotta unsew his mouth. He'll still be groaning because his brain is halfway there. But, um, so he does nothing. To Charlie, and that was his action point. Now we go on to, um, ah, nope, yeah, yeah, me, Alex. Okay then. Um, well, you know, since we've kind of burned the proverbial bridge of actually getting anything done from these mummies, and you know, I'll try I to kind burn of, real I kind of like this armor he's wearing here. Um, yeah, I, I'm gonna try and shoot him in his gaping belly hole. It will go straight through him. Oh, okay. Well then, it um, is a legit. In hole. that case, I'm just going to try and shoot him where his armor isn't. I guess you see, there's a burning spot on his armor. It has to be a very high, high chance hit. But you see, basically, a hole in his armor right above his heart. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I'm, I'm going to try and crossbow with crossbow okay. him with that. All right. Um, Roll for your armor class check. Uh, armor class. Wait. Armor, oh yeah. Yeah. You have to beat. You have to beat twelve. Five. No, I didn't do it. Okay, so I just, I, it jams. Your crossbow jams. Yeah. All right. Does it explode? No. No, I don't have exploding Next crossbow up, bolts. This isn't Skyrim. Next right? up, yeah. uh, Farmer Farmer Bud Farmer Brown is uh. Probably it was Farmer Bill. No, it's Farmer Brown. Okay. He's still at 30 health, by the way. Don't worry. <laughs> no, he's we're kind of ignoring him. Actually, wait, no, he... No, yeah, he's still at 30 health. When we're we done have with a, all this, no I'm one. just going to drag a cactus over there and hand it to Farmer Brown and say, farm some cactus, Farmer Brown. Game Theory says Pokemon sucks. 
Game theory what is... What the fuck? Game he says why electric Pokemon doesn't make sense. What the fuck? Game, gotcha. game Come theory, on, Matt Pat. Matt Pat, get off, get off Nintendo's dick. Do something wrong. And stop relevant. working with Nickelodeon. That's Nobody probably not Matt Pat. That's probably the other guy. I That's actually Austin. did once ask uh, Game Theory to answer me a question here. Um, if you had ever played the uh, Bethesda game Prey, mm -hmm. there's an item scattered throughout the setting of the ship you're on called a Reployer. Well, even the developers of the game itself don't know what a Reployer is. It, it became an inside joke. I want them to try and answer what the fuck the mysterious item known as the Reployer is. It's been a year and about six months since Baldi's Basics has come out, and I am still trying to figure out what the fuck is the storyline behind that game. Because all of those characters... I have never played it and have no interest in playing it. It looks like cancer to me. It, it is, is cancer. It is very bad cancer, but it's actually a horror game without being it, scary. Is it, is it prostate or brain? Uh, or a combination of the two somehow It's brain. One. It's okay. whole body. It's brain because once you look at it and you figure out that Baldi looks like a crudely drawn uh, drawing from a three-year-old, and it's following you Doom style as you try to answer math problems mm -hmm. and escape the school faculty and the bully and the hall monitor trying to get out of the school and collect the notebooks for your friend. Mm -hmm. It basically is a slow deterioration of your brain because you're just like, everything looks like shit. Everything. I've watched so many fucking times. Okay, let's get back to the video. Yeah, let's anyway, anyway so, too. well, I've been trying to figure out if there's a theory behind it. And every single time, I'm just like, I can't get anything. They're trapped in hell. This is hell. This is hell. I'm and pretty I'm like, sure the developer said at one point that it is hell. Uh, well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, we're now on a Twitter post. So. All right, so what? it was Alex. Yeah. Casey. And I missed. And now it's Farmer Brown. Farmer Brown, that's right. Farmer Brown, get get us some cash. Farmer Brown's going to take his plow and just chuck it at this point. <laughs> he's, he's giving up the farmer life. He's just throwing the plow. Now he is, Plow me! Now he does have a strength of 14, so it does require him to roll a strength check. So we're going to see if he has a good old strike check. He does not. He picks it up. He drops it on himself. And this is why none of us is And Farmer Brown him. takes 10 damage because you guys can't seem to kill him. We haven't tried! We want to give Farmer Brown a nice I want, nice I want him land. to be my pet. And he slowly crawls out from under the plow and he's like taking 10 damage from just dropping a plow head on his body. Yeah, before before this fight is over, I'm going to hand him a plant and have him get back to I want you to just hand him a flower and just be like, we're sorry you suck at this. <laughs> Oh, those smell good. Yeah, um, they They're teriyaki. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I haven't had any. You have teriyaki and you're not sharing it with me? Yep. Wait, <laughs> do they count as creatures, though? No, they're okay. human only. Yeah. If you yeah. cut off their legs, do they count as creatures? No, then they count as... I'm not going to get into it. Crippling depression. No. <laughs> crippled humanoids. I was going to say Joe Biden. I have crippled... <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Some no, none for you, bitch. None for you. <laughs> no, none for you. Ow! <laughs> Thank you. Pull your hand back this before I smack your dick. Mm -hmm. Do it. I'm gonna smack your dick. Smack Ow. your small oh, well, You smack the dick in the head, so that counts. Ow. I love that opening. Why does Buddy always before. slap the dick? That's the best me. opening in any video game where it's like you can either punch a dick head or punch a dick in the head. Because in Saints Row 4, you just walk down the presidential suite, and this dude stops you, and he's like, Mr. President, I do not approve of all walks. Punch a dick in the head? Punch a dick in the head or punch, punch a dick head. And so, whichever one you choose, it's a low blow or a knockout. It's, yeah, it's I hilarious. Love it. I love it. You know they're making another one? Yeah. Yeah. This one is They've a... They've done killed that game. This so one... Bad, well, though. Saints Row, they're claiming that it's going to be a time travel game. They're going to invent time travel, and the Saints are going to go back to the beginning of Saints Row. That is such a cop. And they're just like, well, because the Earth is destroyed, and their virtual reality thing is literally bringing back the consciousness of people that the computer has generated over thousands of years. The Earth wasn't shit. destroyed. It yeah, was. it was. In what game? Saints Row 4. It was destroyed. Oh, that was when the aliens came. Yeah, the whole world I got destroyed. I played that one. I, I don't one, remember it getting destroyed. Well, it was the one where, uh, it was the one that had Gat out of hell, too. Yeah, I know. I, I got that, too. But, uh, no, the world was destroyed, 
uh, and you were captured along with the saints. Oh, like, oh no, I remember it getting blown up. Never yeah, mind. and so now they have like consciousness of famous people saved on computers for over a thousand years, and the saints want to repopulate the earth, but with those people as mm -hmm. members of the saints. So they're like, now the entire population of Earth is saints. Mm. They're strapped with guns fighting cavemen okay. because we ran out of fucking ideas. Volition. I hate Lower. you guys. So, Farrell Brown hurt himself. That was his action point. <laughs> He's a very pathetic zombie. Cassie. We really need to spare him. I He's think you should try to one. talk to Farmer Brown because he doesn't seem like the brightest zombie of the bunch. Okay, I've already tried one, so I'll try again. Alright, great. Roll over your arcane check. Just, just tell him, hey, look, if you want to just go back to farming, we'll for just you. leave you to it. I have sympathy here. for you. So, instead of your plus two, you're going to have plus six. Seven. Plus six to your roll. We're okay. just going to, yeah, just yeah. tell Farmer Brown to go back to farming. We don't care about him. Four. Ten. Uh, he heard you. Again? He, he heard you. Me? But no, he understands, like, one word out of what you say. So, like, whatever you say to him, he'll understand, like, one word. So, what are you telling him? You're speaking to a farmer that is undead. What are you doing? He uh, just hears... Doing. No, he just hears you. And he goes... <clears throat> and he points at himself. So, there's that. So he knows that you're trying to talk to him, so he's not going to attack you. He probably will attack any of your friends if they decide to be dickheads and attack him. Wait, come from my No, we're not, we're not killing. We're not well, killing because Farmer Brown is pathetic at this point. I'm we're not going to kill him. I'm going to take him as my pet. No, we're not taking Farmer Brown as a pet. We're going to leave him. Pet. He that? will be Matt, mine. Matt, you can actually do something now. Yeah! yeah. Cut your fucking mouth. You're poisoned. Now, if you crit roll this, I might have to just kill your character out of the game because you are pathetic. Okay. <laughs> More pathetic so, than what Farmer are you attacking? Brown. Are you attacking poor Farmer Brown or are you attacking attack the warrior or are you attacking Do twin the twin cess? Do the non existent twin cess. Yeah. Okay. That other half. I love how that became a joke. I'll do twin cess and I'll be using the heart of the marsh. 1d10. It's almost as. Oh, 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 all right. You know that that also uh, any attack towards any person on the opposite island, because there's a dagger in this island too. Yeah. Any the heart of the marsh deals um, extra damage towards anybody on the opposite island. Mm -hmm. So. What would I be rolling? I don't know. Does hmm. it have anything that says to hit? Heart of the marsh. One d ten poison. One d10 poison. That's a right. strong-ass no, dagger. To, we're That's have, a strong-ass dagger. We're going to yeah. have to eat this all, by the way. Yeah. Because yeah. it will not reseal. Okay, so I'll eat it all. Thank you. I'll fucking eat it all real quick. Charlie, stop trying to shove beef up your butt. Thank not you. where it's going. It's going to my gullet. Mmm, real juicy. Yeah. Alex, can I get one? No, sure. Oh, no, none for you. Fuck. I don't Let know me roll a probability those. check. <clears throat> stop! Stop masturbating your- hey! <laughs> oh. That's Stop. not funny! Stop masturbating your wife's butt, Charlie. We're doing this live on camera, by the way. I know, that's the best part. It's very shameful. I'm trying to tickle her foot and I can't get it to tickle. This is why I have depression. Why does this give you depression? This I don't know! This is why I have depression. This is why I have a life. You pushed his- Baby juice maker thing, whatever the fuck, out your pussy. So, like, wait, I put a baby juice maker in there? Yeah, why else? How? No, the how? baby juice maker was already in there. He just put. Wait, 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 wait. Everybody stop. We how just, are babies made? We just need to what stop. What the fuck? <laughs> we just need to Okay, so there. <laughs> there is a baby. No! All right. And whenever you have sex, I've been in science class. Hey, and hey, hey. We can't, go, we can't go there. And go, no, we can't go there. Actually, like, no. no joke, when I was in 8th grade, and they were telling how actual babies got made. And I they told you this shit in 8th grade? I, I was in 5th grade. No, they told oh, me in 8th grade. I, I knew this already knew it, like, first. In kindergarten. But this was actually the science behind it. Like, I knew what fucking was. I just didn't know, that, like, how babies were actually made. So when they taught that in 8th grade, I was so fucking embarrassed I just thought it was point. something Because hilarious. I was just, like, I was sitting there, and they're like, Now, the sperm, the sperm cell goes into the egg cell. And I'm like... 
I'm getting, like, my face is just bloodshot, like, red is that bad. Mm-hmm. And then they go, and then the teacher goes, you need to step outside for a minute? I'm like, mm-hmm. And I got out, and obviously, like, I waddled out, and I just sat outside. Were you sporting the- a flagpole? Yeah. Okay. Because I was thinking, like, I was thinking porn. That's how I was making sense of the whole thing. I mean, I knew where babies came from before I even got into grade school. But as I was sitting outside, one of the coaches was, like, making rounds around the hallways to make sure the students were in class. And he stopped, and he looked at me, and he goes, what's the matter with you? And I said, they were talking about sex. And he goes, okay. All right. And he just walks off. He's like, all right, yeah, he knows. All right, Matt, you're going to use the heart, right? Mm-hmm. You gotta break his armor class. So, roll that d20 and make me somewhat proud. I'm not. not oh, well, that's not enough. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no! He rolled it one. No, I don't. I bugged that one. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, Here's I the thing. This. I saw add your, this. Add your, add your <coughs> thing. Add your thing. I want to see exactly how much it is, even with your. Uh, Plus five initiative, so it's seven. All right, so do you want to use your inspiration to reroll, or do you have a saving throw in... Is that a one or an 11? No, that's a two. Oh. This, um... For... Fuck that dice. That's weighted. I call bullshit on It is not weighted. I rolled a 20 on that earlier. I oh, keep rolling high. That's how I got the fucking 21 for the for the zombie four. Yeah, it was with my original dice. Okay, what, what saving throw? I got a saving throw in Wisdom... Charism? Charism. 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 Use so, mine. Use mine. Yeah, Fuck use theirs. this. Yeah. Use mine. And more. cross out your inspiration. Oh, just a race. So he has lost all inspiration because even he knows that he's a failure. I have no inspiration. Yeah, I have no is. inspiration. I have crippling inspiration. You know, you missed it uh, when we were trick or treating. All right, here we go. Hang on. You gotta watch. Thursday, drum roll, please. Just before these three, r- these four arrive, um, a girl said, "Fun fact: I'm a disappointment." Yes, you should well, that to me too. She just walked up to me and said, fun fact, I'm a disappointment. And I started laughing. I would have hugged that girl, and I would have said, at least they were making they a told joke you, of it. At least they told you at a young age. Because I didn't know I was a depo- disappointment apparently until I was 21. Sister. I am a disappointment. Apparently, apparently, I'm 21. You were an accident. Wait, was it the little girl with the little black girl? Go. No, no, no. no. Roll! These were two grown, uh, grown girls. Woo! Yes! 15. He rolled a 20. Suck he my a, fucking dick. It was Your a 15. fucking dice it was sucks a fit dick. Like I said, his dice sucks dick. It's my dice now. Look at that 18. Oh. Yeah, bullshit. You wait. I don't look like an 18. That looks like a 20. It was like this till you fucking touched no, it. No, it was on the rim. Why look at that 19. Why don't you stop? Look at that 12. Put your look at that this. one. No, what? Look you at just that one. one. Yes, I did. Put your puberty back in. Stop voice cracking. My puberty's right here, bitch. It must be very it's small. Very it's so it's... Non-existent. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, it has to be a little existent. Oh, wait, I forgot I was when you created the baby. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> She's the one who... <laughs> you're the one who did all the work. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. She's the one who has the dick of the family. We know. All right. Right. Hey, all we all know. Okay, you're the big You rolled 15 you plus 5. You actually hit... You charge at him with the dagger, and as he sees it... And I'm pretty sure you're going to be hitting... Uh, you're going to be hitting either... Twi- you're hitting twin sis, right? Yep. Okay, so, so as you charge at him... Him, he sees the dagger and he's going like he knows it's about to fuck him up because even if he's necrotic he's still taking poison damage for this so roll for your damage 1d10 rule 1d10 fuck you. he's gonna get a one he's gonna get a one yes. i'm waiting one. for it i'm waiting for it uh, get the one there you go now that's there you go that's my way to go on go ahead go ahead do it do it! No, as DM, I refuse you to use that die. You're using that die. Okay, hand me the die. I'll Give roll for it. you. Let's go. I even let you roll on both at once. <laughs> no. You could take the higher That's number. Something. We're taking the green one. It's a two. Can so I you can't take the nine? 
<laughs> you know what? Yeah, why not? You take him. He hits a die. You kill him, but as you kill him, he can't make a fortitude because he used the heart, mm -hmm. and the heart does an increasingly amount of poison damage. So even if he was to come back and roll, he would have taken poison damage and died. So I'm not going to even worry about that. But when you stab him, you pull back, and you see greenery starting to grow from his chest, and he turns into a palm tree. Yes! Farmer Brown's gonna get a palm tree farm! <laughs> so, one zombie is dead, another zombie... Mummy. One mummy's dead. They're both the same. One mummy's dead, another mummy's dead, one got turned into a tree, and the other one got royally fucked up by a lightning bolt. Who killed F Farmer Brown? Farmer Brown's still alive. Oh, Farmer Brown's just alive. sad. He's sitting in sad. He's like... Mm -hmm. He's still trying to figure out what the hell I'm saying to yeah, him. Because all he know is... He, yeah, because he's just like, mm -hmm. like... He's like, am I the problem? Everybody else is doing so good. Look at the warrior. I'm just sitting here with my... The power. warrior's on fire and only has about ten health. The warrior looks like a badass at this point. Like, he looks like a zombie knight that's going to fuck everyone's ass. I'm taking sure. that thing's armor, by the way. I'm just going to yank it off its... You know what? I'll allow it. I mean, if you decide... If, um... I mean, I I'm going to try and get it repaired, obviously. So you called dibs on uh, scrounging off of the warrior, right? Yes. I called dibs okay. on the twin sets. Alright, so you... <laughs> so that means you scrounge twice, so... <laughs> that was less than a good thing to say. Okay, so... If Farmer Brown dies and doesn't return back to his tomb, who's taking Farmer Brown's belongings? Uh, we right. are not killing I like Farmer Brown. He ain't dying. We ain't, ain't killing him. We ain't killing Farmer Brown. We're gonna just walk up I there. Say no you guys, I guess you guys can like send them off into the river like I'm a Viking funeral. Like, well, he crawled out of his coffin in the pyramid. Let's just put him back in the water. No, no, no. We're just going to dig him a little channel and we're going to make him a nice field right next to the pyramid. By the way, did you know if you puncture somebody's lungs as they're dead, you can make them drown in the water? Like, they won't float as dead body. Like, they'll sink to the bottom. Okay, that's some interesting facts. Yeah. yeah. Only you would be looking at this stuff. Who are you planning on murdering out of all of us? A lot of people, but don't worry about it. It's all of us. Alright, no. Alright, so... You yeah, basically, like you basically know, right? turned, you basically turned a zombie into a tree. Not exactly a palm tree. It was more like a bald you said cypress. It was a, you said it was hey a Matt, start well, stabbing I mean, more people with that. We need a it, million. It would trees. look ridiculous. It would look ridiculous at if a zombie literally like, tur like stood straight up like this and then turned into a palm tree. So it's more like he takes the damage and he's like this, and his fingers grow out, and it looks like a bald cypress. Mm -hmm. But the tree is not going to survive well in the desert, so it's probably just going to shrivel up and die as a stem because it has no water. Mm -hmm. So, we got one dead tree. Thank you, Matt. We're supposed to be planting a million trees, not killing them. I'm already doing my part. Team trees. I only kill one thing. Anyway, so... With that being said, Matt, you actually did something, and the last two are done. So, Charlie, it's now back to you. <laughs> you have the warrior left over in good old Farmer Brown. Don't mess with Farmer Brown. Don't mess with Farmer Brown. I cast Burning Hands on the warrior. I'm going to grab him okay, and balls. strangle him to death. Okay, so that's one check for grapple, because it's not attack. You have to check He's also cast That's actually a spell. A spell. It's a spell? Yeah, it's a spell. Oh, uh, no, Burning Hands is, my, is a spell I have. Well, okay, so you have to roll for your spell check, and then as your second action point, do you have a second action burning point? Burning Hands? No. You then you can't him. strangle him. Then you can't strangle him. I, I mean, you can Burning Hands you on him. I can cast Burning him. Hands, but spell. you can't grab him. He technically does you have can't to grab him. him. Then how does Burning Hands ever work? You, you just touch you, someone with it. That's okay. what I'm doing. Well, burning do Hands it. Burning hands last until the end of the battle, or at least last until however the long duration is. Uh, more There's no cast limit on it. It just says instantaneous. So it's as long as I'm casting. As long as you're casting. Yeah. So roll for a successful cast, and then if the warrior... Ooh. <laughs> I rolled a 10. No, no, you rolled a 1. There's a t plus 9. Is that, that a 10? Because where's the fucking 0? Oh, I got a plus 9 right here. It's true. Mm -hmm. it does. You have a good plus 9 on Arcana. Yeah. Uh, Still, that's a that's a, that's a that's, 1. That's less than half. That's a that 1. I want oh. you to feel the same amount. I want you to go over there, sit next to Farmer Brown, and cry with him. <laughs> hey, just, just, just wrap an arm around <laughs> Farmer Brown. How the fuck do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> you little bitch. All right, fine. And I 
have disappeared. No. I told you it was it. fucking waiting. Fuck. Veto. All right. So next is. Why is my magic the not warrior. work here? The warrior saw the man literally light a tiny little spark on his pinky finger and laugh. So he's going to attack Charlie full on with his version of grapple. How much health does Warrior have? The Warrior has 9 health right now. Okay. So he's going poison. to attack Charlie. Don't forget to do his poison. Um, no, well, his fire damage. I still have to roll for the fire damage. Didn't well, he put, his, yeah, fire, his, his fire got put out after yeah, he yeah. died to come back. Yeah. Oh. So now so, we have the grapple. So it is. So what is your armor class? 13. 13. So it's plus one that hits. So I'm going to roll a d12. That's this one here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. D12. Okay. 15. With the plus five hit. So it, retrain, it restrains the player until they roll a strength check of 15 or higher. So you must roll a 15 or higher, or he gets an additional action point to do whatever the fuck he wants to do with you. I rolled a six and I get no bonus. No bonus? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have oh. no strength. My strength is ten, so I have so zero bonus. He's about to do his strength check, which is Am I the only 16? one in this in this fight who hasn't been brutally just butt fucked? By yeah. You were fucked by a cactus, man. You got fucked by a cactus, but then again you did burn the warrior, but the warrior at this point is just like like, oh, you killed me. But I am going to kill your party and save you for last. You're essentially the game that he him. wants to play. So I'm who killed uh, him. Oh, next next move is going to be. Oh, okay. He rolled a fifteen. So he rolled a fifteen, which was a fifteen or higher. He is going to slam you to the ground, which is a one d eight of bludgeon damage. So he picks you up and slams you to the ground. That's a d eight right here. Um, no, sorry, that's a 10. Yeah, I was right. Stop messing with my dice. That's my fault. That's my dice. You know what? Take two damage. You ain't even got a set of dice. Take two damage, God Slucker. No, you're not taking two damage. Okay, he deals four damage to you. Plus two, so he takes six. Okay. So he basically just grabbed Charlie and buried German him. suplexed him. Oh, okay. And buried his head in sand. Okay. And then he got back up and then he was pointing at you. He was like, you're next, motherfucker. Oh, and I'm like, bring it on, pumpkin. All right, so <laughs> next up is Cass. No, actually, Alex. Yeah, Alex. So, what are you gonna do to this man? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to use, I'm going to attempt to just stab the fuck out of him with my twin daggers here. Um, okay. yeah, they, they gotta do. beat his armor class. Yeah, uh, what is his armor class? His armor class is twelve. That's a six. Yep. Plus four. That's t okay. No. Okay. Uh, you poke him, he laughs, and now you're just awkwardly staring at each other's eyes. Alright, man, it looks like glassy, maggot infested what eyes. Is love? That's sad. I'm all out of love, and I'm so lost with If you ever you. sing this shit again, Rapon, there will be one death in this track. I believe I can fly. Somebody play the Shrek soundtrack, because that'd be just fucked up. Somebody once so told me. Okay, no, let's that's go. actually how the zombie should have exited. It should have been like coffins built into the side of the pyramid, and then they opened up. And, and they Skyrim. just kick it open. And they just kick foot. it open like Skyrim with the Draugr, and then they just start walking over like, somebody once told me they're catching the woe as they're walking. All right. Where are we going? Oh, right. Is it, okay. Is it zombie sermon or matter? Farmer Brown's going to do something. Farmer Brown's going to try something? Oh, Lord. Farmer Brown... I thought it was Alex's thing. Is going to, oh, 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 Farmer Brown is... He has no plow now. He's not going to even bother with that. He's going to grab Vixen. He's going to what? He's going to grab you. Farmer's going to grab the cat. Okay. So... Yeah. What are you saying to me? What's your armor class? She can't even see because she's laying down. Yeah. 17. 17. All right. Yeah, so that means... She's, she's too busy three. getting her foot masturbated mm -hmm. by Charlie. Go ahead and roll the Alright, so let's see here. 17 plus 6. Um, he just awkwardly touches you. Because he, he's trying to grab you, but instead it's more like... And he's like hugging you. He's just like, I don't know what the fuck to do here. Pharaoh likes the kid. I was a farmer. I'm not a fighter, as you can tell. 
<laughs> I'm just a disappointment. Farmer Brown is very sad. He you know has what? Go ahead. Somebody roll an investigation check so I can tell the story of Farmer Brown. He basically. Well, I'm just gonna talk to him. Okay. Well. Yeah. It's my turn next. All right. I rolled a one. Yeah. No. Hey. Hey, Chunk. Don't, don't hey put chunk. that on. We will get hey, chunk, it. DreamWorks is All right. Boring. So. Yeah, they are. So. Except when it comes to video brinquedo, who mm -hmm. likes to take every single thing they make and make a docu mockumentary of it. Mm -hmm. So, um, far around, he just awkwardly hugs Cassie. Cassie, what are you going to do next? I'm going to try talking to Farmer Brown again. Okay, great. Maybe you know what? Since he's you. right in front of you, don't roll for your arcane check. Instead, roll for a percentage check to see how accurately he can hear you. Is that a 20 still? No. Are you he yes. A percentage is a percentile. Mm. So what? Dice. That one. I have dice, Charlie. Oh well, you got all yours in your ah, bag, so you can't right find here. it. No, it's not the right one. Don't worry about me. Right here. I love no, that baby that cat. One is. Yeah, that one is. So roll a percentage to see how accurately you can speak judge. his language. 40. 40? English frequency English. Okay. Yeah. So, say what you want. Oh, uh, what hit. are you doing? You hear very softly him <laughs> say... I died stealing fruit. A farmer died stealing food. Yeah. Oh my god. He died stealing fruit. <laughs> Why? And he holds up in his pocket a rotting apple. No. Hey, you've had that no, apple. he did. No. How long have you fucking had that apple? Because that thing would not last. They embalmed it, too. No, it's literally, you... it's literally a rotten, like, worms are crawling out of the apple. And you figure out that well, I mean, he was a farmer, apple. but somebody came onto his land. Somebody came onto him? Somebody came onto his land and pushed him off. So he went to try to farm somewhere else on a different island. Uh, and when he went over to Rabaya to try to farm on there, he obviously can't farm in the desert. He doesn't know how to work an irrigation system, so he went to the bazaar, stole an apple to feed himself, and his punishment was death. So Farmer Brown is that pathetic. Poor Farmer Brown. Yeah, you know what? I kind of just want him to self-destruct. It's like, he just seems like such a bad... That it, it, no, we want we want to foster Farmer Brown. We want to we want to come and visit him every once you know in a while, and he'll stand him. in the doorway, and he'll be like, hey, hey, hey. If you know, if you burn him, if you him burn him completely to ash, you know his soul will be released. So, no, yeah. that's no fun. We can't talk to ghosts. Um, so yeah, we can. Yeah, half the undead. <laughs> you can talk to spirits, ghosts, and zombies. So. But we're not you communicated with him. We're going to keep him. He doesn't really want to fight. You know that he does not want to fight, so um, he's basically going to exit the battle, and you can talk with him when the battle is over, but now you only have one person. So one's a tree, one's dead, one gave up, and now you've got the warrior who's still just like... You mean two. Two's dead. Twins. Yeah, two, no, yeah, twin, twins are dead. It's my turn, Twins are dead. Right? One, one's a tree and one gave up. So, well, no, one of the twins got turned into a tree, one of them got dead, and then the other one became, uh, gave up. Okay. Okay. So, uh, and that's just me as DM ruling out that this zombie is too pitiful, and so far we understand that he is pitiful to just not want to fight. He doesn't want to fight. He's undead, he's wondering why people are here at his tomb, and he doesn't deserve this. So, alright, so that means Farmer Brown is dead so now you got the warrior well, i mean dead from battle so now you got the warrior left over mm -hmm. so now it's time for me. matt matt deal nine damage to this hunk of meat should i do the heart of the marsh i don't know please oh, yeah, Turn it under your pants. you know what fine give, give. okay that's nice <laughs> are you Shit. Yes. When'd you get in there? I don't feel There's you there. Thank you, buddy. Okay. Charlie. Charlie. Somebody. Charlie. Yes. Should I use Heart of the Marsh to turn me into a plant? No. Yes, we must plant a million trees. Hashtag. If I trees. do, will his armor still be safe? Mm, no. 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 It will shatter during the growing process. Yes. Do it. Do not. We do need it. it. 
We may do. need it. Will the, ice, will the ice dagger make sure the armor's safe still if I use no. it? No. Cultural bullshit will be very important only... to us, I'm sure. And the, the heart of the marsh. Hmm. Never mind. Go ahead. What is your decision? I'm trying to make it so the armor is protected, but I got a fire just, dagger. Just kill him! Just kill him! He's heart of the marsh. Yes! I just fucking told Roll him. Roll a d20. To figure out if you break the armor class. Three. No. Plus five. No. No. His no. armor class is twelve. Get no. that shit out of here. All right. Did Matthew just fuck up again? Yeah, yeah. I did. Damn, Matthew. It's very sad. What the Damn, fuck's up with these Matthew. Rolls? Back at it again with that shitty roll. What the fuck's up with my rolls? They're they not shitty. buttered enough. Yeah. We need that buttery roll. Speaking of which, what are we eating? Food. Not for that yet. I'm good on this. I, I can right. spice myself. Well, I mean, just something. I know that's so good. Just something to consider. Can I get another. Oh. Okay. Oh, so, okay. Charlie, kill the warrior and set Barmer Brown free. Summon lightning, motherfucker! I cast banishment. You bastard! <laughs> D twenty. Two plus nine. Twelve. <laughs> I'm gonna stab no. him. I'm gonna stab him. It does not work. What? He flickers out of existence for one second, then comes back in. And he's like, Bleh. He basically is wondering, what the fuck just happened? Like, I just, I saw a glimpse of hell, and now I'm back here. It's the void, not hell. Oh, well. Is it you said it can be a random... Yeah, it, it can be. That, I guess that is. I guess the DM can decide. It that could be in the land the of board. Arcadia it's for all their, you It's care. their hell. All right, that's fine. If, if DM rules, that's fine. I, I will accept it. So next up, it is him. He's gonna attack Alex again. God damn it! He's gonna use slam. Okay, hold on. I'm tired of fucking around with Mummy Boy here. Uh, so. <clears throat> Let me see here. So he's going to use his. Uh, smashed. I'm going to be using my. Mm, no, it. Yeah, I'm going to be using my uncanny dodge. I can use reaction to half the damage if I'm hit. So see if he hits. All right. Twenty. What's your AC? Sixteen. He does not. Okay. You dodge successfully without even having to roll. Yeah. Alright, okay, my turn. Um, okay. yeah, I, I'm a, I'm a twin dagger the bitch. I'm a twin dagger Go the bitch. Uh, the roll the armor class. Mm -hmm. 15. 15. Uh, yeah, 15 plus that hits. 19, yeah. Roll your uh, damage. Okay, so that's 2d4 plus 8. Alright, roll yep. 2d4 and we'll have 8. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait. Yeah, just, 2d4. Here, just roll literally 2 at 1. Uh, just roll 2 at 1. Okay, yeah, I'm going to... That way we don't you don't have to lose it. So just four and a two. Yeah. Six, Six plus, eight. plus eight. That is fourteen. Okay. And, and he's dead. dead. Okay, good. Now and I get the armor. armor. I was gonna use um frozen wind blast next time. But he still has a chance to use fortitude. Oh uh, god damn it. So since it's um fourteen, he's gonna go down to negative fifteen. So and he'll have to get more than negative fifteen. He has to roll a nat. He has to roll a net of uh, 10 in order to come back from this. <laughs> That's a new one. Oh, yes, yes. Come on, roll it. Come on. Do it, bitch. One. One. He did not He is back. dead. He is dead, and I get his armor. Fuck yeah. All right, so battle is over. Farmer Brown is resting. What do I get from the twin cest? You know, you re <laughs> Phrasing. Well, Awkwardness. What about XP? What's that? Alright, um... Alex gets the highest, because he killed the warrior. Okay, how much do I get? Mm. I killed one of the twin cells. Where did that? It turned into I'm 49,005. And, and 5,000 is where you upgrade? Uh, 50,000. I, I have no How'd you get 49,000? I only got 40,000. I've got I got 40,000. Uh, she has 49,940. How the fuck? Some of us defeated different enemies. Okay. 3,000. 3,000. 3,000. 
5,000. Okay, so I got 5,000. I already got it over here, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, I already got it on calculator. Hold on. It's 43940. Four, three, yeah. So if I understand, 43,005. So, just don't make it. 43,940. 43,940. I'm fine with anything we want to eat except for pizza because I've had pizza for the past three days. <sighs> Really, Rapun, you eat pizza for three days in a row right before our D and D game. Well, the second time in a row. You know oh, what? Right. It's been different pizza because it it was like it was Little Caesars, and then it was Tombstone, and then it was Red Baron. And so, why are you eating, eating this much pizza? I'm Pizza's broke. good, man. Come on. All right. Little Caesars is like five dollars pizza. Tombstone is like three dollars. Let's get some ramen. And no. Yeah, let's get some ramen. I don't eat noodles. I don't eat pasta. I don't eat soggy foods. I don't eat right. soggy foods. How dare you? How dare you? Sorry, I'm not weeb enough. The leaves will win the war. So, since Marvel Round is not dead, Cass, you can talk to him freely She's using asleep. your necrotic spells. She's She's asleep. Asleep. She's asleep. Yeah, far uh, I'm just going to hand Farmer Brown a plant or something that I found on the ground. I'll put him on a leash and I'm going to drag him with me. Fair enough. Well, I am now disappointed for rope? the day. Yeah, Matt, give me your rope. I give him my rope. Uh, yep, uh, right. so I'm, I'm now disappointed. Do you have Farmer Brown? They are making Batwoman Beyond. What do you want? No, they're making well, that Batwoman be Beyond. This is probably from the same people who said they're going to make an all-female Avengers cast. Yeah, doesn't, just keep it in your inventory, though. It doesn't make any sense. Like, keep it written yeah. down, because whenever, you know, whenever I take them all... That's Batwoman Beyond right be there. Yeah. Well, I mean, if a comic strip, then it makes sense. But if it's a movie, then it doesn't. Because I thought the Robert Pattinson movie was going to be... No, nope, it's a common. It's I thought the Robert Pattinson Batman movie was going to be about the mantle of the Batman. And the mantle of the Batman was going to have Robert Pattinson play as Dick Grayson, who's going to take up the Batman mantle with an elderly Bruce playing the role of Alfred in the way of like a mentor thing. And then Catwoman was going to be played by Selina Kyle, who's falling in love for older Bruce. It was weird. I had this whole thing planned out. Mm -hmm. I usually script movies before they come out. Mm -hmm. Since I am working uh, in college as a post-productionist and screenwriter. So, yeah, I have to work on it. I have a full Fantastic Four movie in my closet. I thought you were doing um, computer stuff. I was, until I realized that I'm not good at that. Not, e not easy. It's not. So I'm just going to stick to directing and production. That's fine. That way if I use a computer, I can use editing software, which is probably not hard to work. Uh, there, if you want to do like the more in-detailed stuff, it gets a little complicated, but basic editing is easy. Yeah. So... That's almost all I have to up too late. Yeah. To in your video. inventory, mm -hmm. right, royal armor, mm -hmm. you notice that he has a pouch of gold on him, so you get a pouch of gold, which is approximately 100 pieces, mm -hmm. a, sorry, I'm eating, an embalming tool left on his body, and three separate gold chains. So you said and necklaces. Oh. Yeah. So hey. you, you said he has approximately 100 gold. So that actually means I could put down 200 gold because you said approximately, not a whole mm -hmm. solid number. Yeah. So it's around. Okay, so it's 200 gold solid. <laughs> All right. Wait, so I, so I, had, I had to, to question twins. the link. What did they have on them? A slightly burned photo of when they were alive. Okay, no, we did not level up. At, uh, we, we didn't level up. It's not until uh, 64,000. Here, Charlie, I'm a good person. You can hit the last one. I Where do you want the gel? I'd rather have the meat. Okay. I get like Charlie the... the gel. No, I don't actually yep. want to watch you die. So I give Charlie the half-burnt picture of them while they're alive to keep. You don't even have to pick it all up their body. I still give it to Charlie. I'll oh. burn it. All right, so it's all right, what not else? there anymore. Um, so, I got the armor and the money and some chains. What are you guys doing? I'm I got Farmer I Brown. He picked up. He Please picked up. Farmer Brown down. No, I'm taking him with He has Farmer Brown attached to a rope, kind of following them, like with his arms behind his back. 
That's, oh, no, no, no. Basically, he has a mummy tailing us. That is kind of sad, really. I, I don't have his arm so, tied like else a slave. Like no, you I'm have him like a pet dog. Yes, That's a zombie. Like, that is not good. What else you like should really you let have the, the You have the pictures of both Remember the last time I kidnapped an animal? You have, um... You kidnapped four a, gold rings. No one is going to like this. This is not enjoying. like the... Yeah. Hold on. Four this gold is, rings. This is not like the last time you kidnapped an animal. No one is going to like to see you walking up with this. Yeah, this if, is you not, enter, if you enter the town with this sucker, they're going to... Rape and murder you with They're a not going to rape, they're not going to murder, but they're going to ask a lot of questions. <laughs> and I will answer every one of them. All right. Okay. Yeah. Well. Oh, so we're going to say we went grave robbing. So I got yes. the four rings. <laughs> we could not go with you, the pyramids. You would actually be surprised at how many times mummies just pop out of pyramids. I mean, it's very common on this <laughs> island. So. So I get four rings. Yeah, we're still four rings. Go, we still got to go into the, the, the pictures. Thing. Yeah, we do. Two embalming tools. How do you? Do I really need those? They're just embalming tools. They're, They're literally like... sickles that they use to hook the skin and then drag it down like a zipper to open them up. I don't really think I'll need those. <sighs> They're okay. warlock, not cleric. Yeah, really. They're basically sickles that you can use as weapons. Yeah, I'm not going to take them. Alright, uh, and then finally, one of them has like some semblance of a pocket on him, like maybe a burnt piece of cloth that's still hanging on him. And inside the pocket is at least five gold coins, so you have five gold coins. Mm -hmm. Basically, the story of the twins were they killed each other because one of them stole money from each other, and that was the five coins. They literally killed each other over five coins. The warriors had heard and said too much, and the farmer died because he couldn't be able to make crops. And that's why they have this pyramid just set up in the distance. And this is why I'm taking Wait, you uh, with me, so I can teach I, you. I, I searched the pyramid. For any entrance. You notice that the pyramid has... The pyramid is small and wide enough to house one casket on each side at the base of the pyramid. So it basically looks like you can crawl underneath the pyramid, but you won't be able to get out on the other side. It basically looks like the caskets have been buried underneath the pyramid like it's a tombstone. Um, Do we want to pull them out and see what's inside them? The caskets? Yes. Alright. So there's four caskets. Um, two look exactly the same, like normal, regular caskets. One is a little bit of a grayish silver color. I loot that one. And then another one is a gold casket. I want the gold. The gold one is the warrior casket. I'm not going to walk in there. What you find is uh, two scimitars. I know. That we already have. Okay. Yeah, we already have some. Two scimitars. All right. A battle helmet. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's the helmet that the no mages wear. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, what is that armor's armor class if it's fully repaired? Oh, it's uh, twenty. Okay, twenty. Actually, armor. not twenty. Fifteen. Fifteen armor. Yeah. What is the uh, stats for the battle helmet? The battle helmet is. And is it considered light or heavy? It's three. The three adds extra three to your armor. So the battle helmet adds extra three. Is it light or heavy? Mm, about medium. It's I'm medium going weight. to go ahead and put on the battle helmet. It's, it's like it's like heavy fur armor, like bear pelt kind of armor. Okay. okay. I'm going to go ahead and put on the battle helmet, so I have a 16 armor class. All right, the helmet fits you, but you feel sad suddenly. All right. There's... Because you notice that you just robbed an innocent man's tomb, and you are now wearing the helmet. To which he No, died. he does not feel bad. He's chaotic. It's Actually, no, the helmet fits fine because you have ears. And, it, right it, and it just sits on the ears. <laughs> Damn right they okay, do. So He's like, ha! You know ears have a bitch! I can wear your helmet now! Is no, his, he don't. He's chaotic evil. Is his... Oh, okay. I'm chaotic neutral. What? Well, is okay, well, you still uh, no. I you right, inside I don't. the casket, you notice that there is also a notebook. Ooh. I the notebook lie. dictates something dictates certain shippings that people have marked down. See, he was a dock guard. He was keeping track of the shipments that were coming in was inside the bazaar. I was a warrior. Oh. He, wa he, he was, was a warrior. He was, was a, a warrior. guard. It was a guard. Oh yeah, that's right. All right. Well, it was a no mage warrior. I want to cast an investigation check. 
on that book on the contents inside. I'm going to be standing at the door here because they just walked into an ancient Egyptian that's... style tomb period. They're actually, it's essentially it's a okay. What is it called? Like in New Orleans, where they have a crypt. The, a crypt. It's a crypt shaped like a pyramid. Well, that, that's just, so you can stand outside the door. That's but, just so. fantastic, but they they're forgetting what usually happens to grave robbers who go into strange crypts. These aren't them. big enough to house traps. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like I said, it was five stories tall, so it's like it's tall, but everything is about two stories high. Oh, okay. The the, the top part is just so it can come to a point. Uh, I rolled a thirteen on that. Thirteen on investigation. As you open up the book, you notice that it is in its different language, but inside there you notice that there were two crates being shipped over of the blue metallic material. And the location of where it came from is unknown, but the ship that it came from was called the Carrie Ann. The Carrie Ann. Okay, I tell this to Alex to remember. The Carrie, like Carrie the the Stephen King, and then Anne. Carrie Anne. Carrie Anne. So is that all he gets? Like the Queen Anne's Revenge mixed with Carrie? Anne? I'm going to take the book with Psst, me. Pirates. Anyway. I'm going to take the book with me. So, so you take the, the book pirate with you. ship that's But, and us. also, you notice that there were, like, shipments of iron, steel, so, weapons, and stuff. So, in other words, we're, we're going to have to go after the pirates that sunk the boat in the beginning in order to get this blue material. I'm not going to say anything. Okay, got well, what, what would the book be called? The book would just be called, uh, Doc Report. Uh, Doc Report. Yeah. Doc Report. It basically is showing, like, hey... This weird ship known as the Carrie Ann just docked in, and it was carrying weapons and this strange material that essentially is like illegal because they don't know what it does, but it deals a lot of fucking damage if it hits you. To metal, especially. Yeah. Now, in the twi- is that like all the stuff in his thingy? Yeah, that's all. Now what for you. It? You open up. Let's the, the silver one. The silver one. Yeah. In the silver oh. one, you notice that it's Farmer Brown's. In Farmer Brown's is his diary. Wow. Okay, are we gonna raid I, Farmer Brown? He's raiding Farmer Brown. Fuck I, you. I read it. You read his diary. It says, Day One of New Life. I, I read arrived. it out loud so everyone can hear I'll, Okay, well, I'll read it. Now you're gonna make you Farmer Brown about. cry zombie tears. Farmer Brown hears this and he's like, mm. he, he basically just looks down at the ground sad as fuck because this is depressing. Yeah. Hang on to your tear sacks. So, Day One of New Island. And it says the date. Doesn't really matter, but I crossed the I crossed over the dam. I never really saw something that huge before. I have a great feeling about this new life that I'm having. Day two, I found this small little plot over near the beach. I thought I can go ahead and create an irrigation system, but the sand seems too hot, and hot water disturbs my plants. But I'll find a solution to this somehow, some way. Day three, no solution yet, and my end. I somehow grew some fresh tomatoes out of all this. I don't know how, but maybe God's smiling on me. Day four. The tomatoes are poisonous. I took a bite out of one of them in order to make some paste because I got some grilled I got a grilled sandwich with some dairy product on it. It's grilled cheese. I got a grilled cheese sandwich from the market earlier, but I dipped it in the tomato soup and now I don't feel too good. Next day. Curse fruit. Next day. I'm deadly sick. I am throwing up in the water. I don't think this is going to work out. I may die out here. Day seven. I have resort to cannibalism. <laughs> Who's he eating? He's alone. I have already eaten at least three of the fingers off of my right hand. Oh. I feel sad. I don't think I'm going to make it. What are you doing? Alex? And then there's nothing. So he lasted a week on the desert island before he just gave up and died of food poisoning. Of his own crop. All right, I want is to there raid. Anything else in there? There is a wedding ring. He was married, and as you pull it out, he is. He basically says through his groans. He basically says like Cassie can hear it, and she announces it because she's asleep. But he, but he says, um, you can go ahead and take that. She, she left me. Uh, she left me to go to Marshall County. Something about a man who got a lot of money. 
Is that it? We need to find more of these. They're giving out a ten thousand dollar coupon. Oh, cool. Is that it? To All Walmart. Right. That's it. Is Actually, that wait. There's one more thing. Oh no, there's two more tunes. Yeah, no. Only three of them opened, by the way, when something came out. Hmm. So it means one of these probably still have a body. Yep. I opened one of the other ones. He said that there's one more thing in mind, though. Oh, did he? I'm sorry. I missed it's that. It's a metal spike that they used to hold the plants up. He died a farmer, so they gave him a metal spike. You can use it and transform it into a spear, or you can use it as a javelin. It's just a spike that you put in the ground to hold tomatoes up. I gave but Charlie, it's metal. I give Charlie the metal spike. I give him Farmer spike. Brown. Farmer Brown takes the metal spike, and he just he looks at it, hope. and then he just drops it. Because at this point, he's just like, well, this is my new life. I'm apparently this weird elf boy slave. No, you're not my slave. I'm trying to give you hope. <gasps> hope! Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. In the meantime, so I there are two up. coffins left. One, uh, one was, actually, no, you opened the twin one. I opened up the silver one, he opened up the golden one, now me and him are both going for the next ones. I thought he opened up Farmer Brown, I opened up the one. Yeah, you Farmer Brown. Oh, yeah, he That was the one that contained the photos of, uh... That was the twins. No, that was on the twins. Yeah, that was yeah. on the twins. Okay, I'm gonna come inside, and while these two fuckers are violating the twin cest coffin, mm -hmm. I'm just going to walk over to the two other coffins that didn't open, and, uh... There's only that's, one. That, that's what we're oh, doing. Oh, just one yeah. of them? Yeah, yeah because they're walking to the ones that contain the twins in it. You're walking to the one that um, it yeah, hasn't yeah. been opened yet. Okay. And yeah, I'm just going to do a shave and a haircut knock on it saying, anyone in there? Roll an investigation check. Let's if you see. roll low enough, he might just kick down the door. <laughs> Wait, is it is it on its back or standing up the it's wall? It's standing up. Okay. It's a drogger tomb, essentially. Okay. A drogger um, tomb built inside. Where is it. investigation on here? It's under it's wisdom, I think. Intelligence. Oh, intelligence, yeah. Under intelligence. Okay, I don't have anything in investigation, but whatever. Uh, I got a plus one there. All right, so roll um, a. You know what? Roll a d20. Okay. I mean, worst case scenario, he just kicks yeah. down the door. Three. Three. Four. Worst case scenario, he kicked down the door. <laughs> <laughs> so another mummy has entered the fray. At least he it wasn't a wall. I'm just gonna wave. But as he kicks down the door, the door hits you. You uh, take three damage. Okay, well. You take three bludgeon damage. Well, it knocks you to the ground. Well, fuck you too. Um, the zombie loses his balance after kicking open the door, and he breaks his leg as he did it. Charlie, introduce Farmer Brown to our new friend here. <clears throat> well, no. You realize that this guy isn't actually alive fully. Like, he hasn't awoken. Uh. He's kind of half dead, half undead. <laughs> He basically is like, you woke me up from my slumber because you knocked on my door, but I'm not fully awake yet. So he kicks down the door, he breaks his leg in doing so, and he just falls to the ground as a lump of heat. So you're the only one who notices this. You're going to go around going, there's another mummy, there's another mummy. And then they go in and they Wait, notice no, that there's a dead body. No, I wouldn't. I just said. I just keep oh, loading. That's what, that they would, that's what they would get if you said that. Oh, okay. But that's essentially what happened. I you, just... The zombie woke up for a bit. Kicked down the door, broke his leg, then died again. Yeah. I keep looting. So, you guys both open up the twin sets thing. I hate saying that word. Keep saying it. Well, because <laughs> it that's needs the only to thing keep happening. Ah! So, stop raping Charlie. As you hair. open up the, as you open up the coffin. What the fuck are you doing with your hair? As you open up the fucking coffin, both of you, you realize that this coffin is big enough for two people. I climb in the coffin. It, it probably smells of sex. But the coffin has a different design than all of them, including Farmer Brown's. Mm -hmm. This coffin... I use my... Oh, yeah. This coffin has a green color to it, and it looks like it was signed by a store that came from Canhaven. I use my Eldritch. All the way across Ooh, the island. Coffin sales. I use my Eldritch Sights, which makes accurate. Wait. Okay. It, it basically tells the object story. Yeah. Yeah. So, what happened to my jerk? We I ate, ate it. it all. Oh, seriously? Oh, yeah, yes. sorry. Well, I'm, oh, wait. It's not Eldritch Sight. I got the wrong one. Really it is. Oh, it's fine. Okay. Right, it is know, cause but, so, so, as you find out, the coffin was made in Canhaven. It was built for one specifically very large human being. Is that coffin magical? It was substance. <gasps> That's why his name is carved onto the side of the coffin. 
they were going... Somebody in Canhaven was planning on killing Sugston Marshall in Canhaven, but... Wait, 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 hold on a sec. Yeah. His full name is Sugston? Sugston. We've just been calling him Sug, okay. Well, his full name is Sugston, and Marshall is Traviston. I, I know. Actually, it's Travesty. Travesty, Marshall, okay, well, I'm, I'm going to start throwing some shit if you don't... <laughs> Just, okay, I mean, I think going. it's clever. Yeah, keep going, going, keep going. It's okay. like Cassie from Cassandra. But anyway, so... She's snoring. As you figured it out, the real story behind the coffin is it was made by the twins themselves who ran the coffin store. But as they figured out, when Sugston realized that they made a coffin for him, he kindly paid them a visit and brutally murdered them. Yeah, to the point where he, like, beat them with a club. I think we should we should take a moment and say, rest now, dead twin cest. I can't. They weren't at, okay. Rest now, dead twin cests. We will be dragging the fat also, loaf over here to shove them in. They here. weren't exactly twins, but the way that they were was they were born at the same time from different mothers. Hmm. Okay, let's so not... one man fucked two women and they gave birth to two people at the same time who turned out to look like the exact same person. And since they were from the same father but from different mothers, they feel it was just to actually, you know, get engaged. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, that's why it's twin sis, but at the same time you're kind of like, well, does that make sense? Cause like, no, it really doesn't, like, doesn't like, make sense, but whatever. Um, I got that from Yeah, we're going person. to drip. Uh, so I tell these two here, uh, you know what? Here's what we're gonna do. I keep After we kill Sug and we soak his locket in blood or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, we're we're going to have to drag his fat corpse onto a boat and bring it over here for this. Cause I feel it's only appropriate we put things where they belong. I keep looting. All right. So inside the Sug something, you notice that it's actually velvet inside. So somebody wanted him to be real comfy when his fat ass died. Um. The twins were not buried with anything except what was on their belongings, so it's basically an empty, plush luxury. I got to one that he. While they're doing that, them. I'm looting in here. Yeah. So, what was in what was in uh, well, one coffin he... number four? In coffin number five. four was that was five, not four. Uh, well, no, it's four. Oh. Yeah, it's four. Sugston, one for Big Sugston. Fucker, one for Farmer Brown, one for the twins. And one for motherfucker still on the yeah. Game. It was oh. the warrior's coffin, the farmer's coffin, Sugston's coffin, but Sugs coffin. But Sugs decided to put the twin coffin uh, makers in it. I get it. And I was actually waiting for you to do that because I mean, if it's a big coffin that holds two people. It kind of got awkward, but mm. I'm glad you actually did that because it actually forwards the plot to realize that Sugston is a mean motherfucker and he's a bad character you won't want to mess with. And then you finally have the fourth one, which you find inside. But the I body. Mean, <laughs> like, they, like the you dead, can loot the body, had but nothing. Dead, he, but. there's nothing he was buried with. Okay, well, I'm just going to leave him lying there. Then. All right. I mean, that. Actually, yeah, let's look in his inventory. Mm -hmm. Just In his inventory, he was buried with two gold coins placed across his eyes. I'm, I'm going to leave that there. All right. Yeah. And then he was... He That's was, a little... Leader. He looked like he was a bad... Like, the guy literally, you see his full zombified body with a loincloth, so it looked like he was a beggar that was just killed by a I'm going to just put him back in and shut the door. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Then I pick up Charlie, put him in what the twins once, close him in, and face it. Slip, slip, shut. Negate. Negate. Not the one yeah. that happened. Yeah. Negate. No. So, now well, that you guys But we are, are going there. to bring Sugston back and put him in there. Yeah. Can I freeze his shut then? Yeah. We Who's going to carry his fat ass over you. here? Because I ain't. All four of us are going to... Actually, you know what's crazy, though? The coffin, you find out from uh, reading Sugston's coffin, that it wasn't put on a ship, and it wasn't delivered. Somebody took the coffin, dragged it to the beach, and then set it onto the sea, and it somehow washed up to this place where they decided to build a pyramid tomb to house the coffin. Hmm. So, he literally... Sugston was like... I'll teach you for building a coffin for my fat ass and kicks it off into the water. Yeah, we're going to have to get his fat ass in that coffin. I can already tell we need Trap It's either travesty or Sexton. They're we'll both have to terrible take fucking pieces. people. I mean, we're Let's going to kill them, them all. 
Oh. Yeah, we're, first we're going to get the bounties from Travis, then we're going to get no, the bounties from everyone else. We should put Sunstone in there alive, and then kill You get him. the... You got it. Okay, okay so no, look. that's going to be too hard. So no. look, you're you can the drag bounties. a fat, greased-up guy who's dead, but you can't drag a fat, greased-up guy who's alive. Well, tie him up and put him on your fucking mouth. <laughs> he can't carry everything, Charlie. We can drop the other guy. We aren't dropping our... our electricity maker. We How are to fucking eat him. I'm trying to figure out who all we have. Okay, so there's Hayden, who's the vampire king. There's a, we there's had a piece of paper with this. I think I gave it to you. <laughs> yeah, a list of people that needed a very good killing. Oh, I think it might be in one of the other notepads, but it's fine. We could do it Don't worry. <laughs> I mean, it was over 500 million gold. It was five people. It was Hayden, Sunstein, Travesty, and travesty, yes, travesty, yeah, travesty. But he's like, you call me Travis. I don't like my travesty name. They're like, why? His it sounds like a girl. Okay, let's go. Come on. What, what are we doing now? So you're still on your way to the village. So you get on, you go back across the bridge mm -hmm. to get onto the island, and you cross the desert. Okay. Well, Luckily, there's no more tombs. There's no more mummies. Uh, mummies. There's nothing there. It's just very what very hot. That is that's the other not, town that you can get to from crossing the beach from that place. Okay, no, so everyone still too. has on their desert cloth, and mm -hmm. I say, Yeah, but his elf, is showing. Elf, cover your neck. I've done put on my clothes. Cover your neck. It's wasn't, there somebody, wasn't there somebody from the, the electric town that we were supposed to kill? Or did you were supposed to kill? No, there was really nobody from the electric. Oh town. no, it was the vizier who you haven't met with. Yeah, the vizier, what, and then the king of the other island. Yes, what? yes. What? Well, the like, you know, I got the heart. I of mean, the basically, mark. anyone who's got a lot of money or influence, we're going to be killing. Hayden wants to be killed by Travis, so that Travis can take over the island. Travis wants to kill Hayden. You know that yeah, I. Mean. Tra Travis wants to kill Hayden. Substan wants to be killed by Hayden. And then Hayden wants Travis also dead. And so... Who the uh, fuck is Hayden? The Vampire King. Okay, so, in other words, we're just going to kill everybody. Yeah, for I Hayden. Get, get but it. also... The, no, we're going to kill... Well, first, we're going to kill... Hayden also wants the Sultan dead, too. You know, here's what we should do. We should. What we should do is, number one, we should kill Sug. Soak the locket in his blood. We'll take his head and we'll keep it on the Allosaur... We'll give the blood-soaked locket to Travis. You're dictating between that. You're dictating that between them because, I mean, I'm the DM, and I can dictate if you would like to do that or not. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, because, you know, we can take that head, and then we can show it to Hayden. And I'd figure since Hayden didn't like the vampire hunter anyway, he'd pay us for it anyway, not knowing we already got paid by Travis. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, he wouldn't care if he got paid by Travis, because Hayden wants both the marshals dead. And, and then we're going to kill the marshals, of course, after we're done killing a whole bunch of other people. Which would be the vizier and the sultan. Which the vizier wants to be killed by Hayden. Basically, Hayden wants the other island gone so he can take it over. Yeah. Hayden's evil, and we haven't met the vizier or the sultan yet. Why is so. it that he was doubting so much when we started saying that the other sultan wanted him dead? The other... Because he knows... That the Sultan, don't, that would spoil. That would spoil. So okay, much. so don't that answer that. Spoil. Don't don't. Okay. I got a quick question. Go ahead. How like? Cause you know I got a heart of the marsh, and there's another one somewhere over here. Yeah. How would I really know exactly? Like, we just gotta I'm look in? for it. The heart of the marsh and the heart of the sand. But so, you can't find the heart of the sand until you get to a specific place, which. You are not there yet. You guys are actually so, at the next colony. So yeah, you know, we're at the next colony. So, like, we're, we're we'll the, the one I have, Shaker or anything? Which one are we at? Are we at this one or this one? No, no we're, we're at that one. We're at Pumpkin oh, Fucker one? Land right there. Where was, was, where was the pyramid? The pyramid was right there on this little island. Right there. Oh, okay. I, I thought it was Mark. Yeah, yeah, there's two grand pyramids right before you hit the Okay, mantle. let's keep okay. going. But let's the thing I've been going thinking, like, would my deck, would the one I got right now just shake a little bit when I get near it? The other one, or, or no? Well, no, I just have to walk no. around and You'll just have to find it. Okay. We'll have to be Let's observant see. and look around. All right, so I'm just gonna have to be it's walking around using Eldritch Sight the whole time. Can that detect magic. Is. Yes. I never. Did you have to detect magic? I thought I had to detect magic. All right, so Can't this is the place that you are at. Slots. It is Eldritch the Warhammer Sight. looking place. Oh yeah, yeah. That's right. we both have. So you arrive at Shadnava. 
Shadnava is that's the same as the other place. What? Shad- yeah, that's the same picture. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's the place where you're at. You're just going to reuse the same picture. I think he was no, showing that, us ahead of time. That was no. showing y'all yeah, ahead of time. Us ahead oh, okay. to show you that it's actually working now. Okay, let's go. You got an LG. Yeah, so we're here. Yeah, so people. what all is in it's this a note without the stylus pen? What That's all? What, Bullshit. What, what, yeah, all is, what all is in this town here? What, what can we look at? Pull up the town map. Yeah, get us the town. I map. mean, obviously the town map is not verb verbing because there's actually some houses that I didn't bother putting on there. Come on, Fluffles. Give something. us. Some... I go to the bar. It, it, hold on, you don't know if there is a bar. Yeah, you <laughs> don't know. I there's bet. probably a bar in town. Shad. No, no, you don't. Uh, no. I don't know why I wrote it like that, but whatever. Anyway, so. You come across the main gate, which is right here. Looks like a fucking tree. And right in front. So basically, you guys enter from here, which is right here. And that is the town hall, that great building right there. So the town hall is right here. Mm-hmm. You got the guardhouse and the jail right behind mm-hmm. it, and an inn right next to it. Mm-hmm. There's an armory, mm-hmm. a temple, a clinic, mm-hmm. an, another armory, which sells actual armor mm-hmm. instead of weapons, mm-hmm. a house, another house, and a grocery store. Mm-hmm. A general store. By the way, can we take a short rest? Yeah, sure. Okay, good. Once you get in here... I know, I get another bone club from Terry <clears throat> Part the Warrior. <laughs> You're <a> terrible! <laughs> can I do something? What? I'll walk up to, like, right here and use Eldritch Sight. It allows me to detect magic without the spell slot. Okay. You notice yeah, there like is a really large amount magic. of magic emanating from the town hall and from the temple. Okay, so the only places in this area that has, like, Magic is the magic. town hall, which, uh, there's a greenery or an oasis built I'm right a, here. I'm gonna go yeah, talk to the people temple. at the armory. Okay. And then you notice that there's also a beach right here, and there are small little dots stretching out from the beaches. Here, I, here. Uh, I, I go to the temple. Alright, so, you go to the temple. What You are resting. Oh, wait, so... Okay. You are basically, once you enter through the gates... I'm you're just gonna. I'm just gonna sit next to the gate like a hobo for a little while. Yeah, you're just gonna. You're gonna survey the area. Yeah. Now you Where you nice it too. Um, I'm going to the store. Mm-hmm. The store. All right. Mm-hmm. So, I by the way, do I heal on this temple. short rest? Mm-hmm. Do I heal during the short rest? Yes. Everybody heals whenever they call rest. Okay. I guess let's just the... say that once everybody enters in through the gates, they all just sit down and take a breather, which is your rest. So I'll heal all your stuff back. Yeah. And let's go. So you're at the temple. Yep. In the temple, you see a grand. You see the inside of it looks just royal. Red carpet everywhere with luscious designs. People in white robes huddled over a statue of what looks like a giant man that is just dressed in elegant robes and just. In, with his arms crossed, just emanating power from it. The sun coming in from the temple lights the whole room. There's not a single candle, and there's not a single light. I'm guessing anywhere. it's a fucking I, statue of Jehovah. I walked right? to... No, it's Wait. a statue of the Sultan. Oh. Is there like a priest in there? There is a high priest who is conducting the ceremony at the podium that is directly up a floor, Wait. locating everything and watching everybody pray to the statue. I go talk to the... Pre- the Sultan? I mean, the, the priest. The priest. priest. My bad. Priest. The priest. As you walk over there, guards stop you. Yeah. A guard dressed in a robe who doesn't look like he's in armor just pushes a spear pole against your chest and goes, Halt! You may not interrupt the priest while he's doing his proceedings. State your name and your purpose for entering the temple. My name is Torin, and I've came here to see what the strange to talk to the pri- priest. I think, yeah, priest. If you wish to talk to him, if you wish to speak with the priest about information about our temple and our religion, I can tell you instead. Um, I ask him what's that immense power come from the statue. The immense power coming from the statue is gold that was melted down from the neck of our great sultan. I'm sorry. What? I, I, I'm, the I'm, sultan? The sultan bleeds gold. He does now. <laughs> his, <laughs> his, his, his blood? You'll understand once we meet the guy. Yes. yes. He is not human whatsoever. Yes. yes. 
<laughs> we're going to have ourselves a philosopher's stone. <laughs> we're gonna keep. We're gonna take. We're gonna keep and him alive. As he, wait, wait, he says, he, keep him alive, he bleeds. He, go, he, he will says, get more and more and just keep going "Hey, and shut the fuck up. I'm talking here." Yeah. He holds the pole and he knows. Yes, it came from his neck. You see, he is no human. He is a god. He bleeds wealth. And he gives it to his many people across the island. He is a great benefactor. Unlike those blood-sucking idiots over there across on the Greenland. All you need is the sun and the waters to generate a lovely community. Basically, he is preaching at his ass. I ask him if they got any groups around here. Groups? Like Kinda like... Gangs, tribes... Well, like there are specific people that run around this island claiming that they do not worship the Sultan, which I don't know why like, they wouldn't. They refer to themselves as the Cabal. They worship a secret demon organization. We do not like to talk about them in the Holy House. I ask if we could walk out and talk, talk about it. I cannot them. leave my post. And you leave me to someone that knows more about them. You may go to the store I believe that one of the relatives of the store owner may be part of that. But that's a rumor. You didn't hear it from me. Oh, I spoke a rumor that is ill of me. And he just takes his pole and he sits it to the side. He faces the statue. He fragilates himself, basically. And basically prays to the statue for forgiveness. Jumps back to his feet and grabs the pole and he goes, I'm sorry about that. I had to say sorry to my lovely lord. I go to the store. All right, Isn't so Charlie there? The temple. Yeah, okay. I'm already there. Yeah, He's at the store. You want to follow them? Uh, no. I'm going to go Do to it. the armory. I got something I need. Which though. one? The weaponry or the armory? The weapon maker. Okay. Who, who the that's sword? the one that's over right next to the temple. So you basically pass them on the way in. Okay. I say, I, I, I tell them in, in passing, if you do, don't start anything until we're ready to get the fuck out of here. Alright. I'm so, already at the store. So, so, so you're at the store with him. But we're going to focus on Alex. Yeah. Okay. Because well, so we're going around and... We're I'm, going, going, around and I'm going to the armor, uh, this weaponry weapon here. Weapon right here. As, the we as you walk in, it is just... It looks like heaven. There are weapons strode about the entire place. Some in glass cases. Some hanging from what looks like a hat rack. And there's just scimitars of many shapes and sizes. Chain mails different armor classes, and the person behind the counter is what seems to be a little old woman sitting on a stool, and she goes, what do you want? Why are you coming in my store? Charlie, I proceed to woman? take out one of the blue axes and say, I'm just wondering what you could tell me about this metal coating on the end of this axe, and if you could possibly apply it to something else. She takes it, she looks at it, she puts on her glasses, yeah. which, really, yeah, she does have glasses, it's just magnified glass. It's magnifying glass lenses. Yeah. She looks at it, she peers at it, she goes, no clue. I do not recognize this blue stuff. You may get this from the bazaar, but not to my shop. I cannot take this apart. See? And then she gets, like, a pair of what seems to look like pliers. Mm -hmm. They're really pliers, but pliers don't exist. Yeah, 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 she yeah. basically tries to scrape off the metal by it, clatching onto it and ripping it off. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Yeah. It doesn't even leave a scratch on the blue mm -hmm. stuff. It's bright baby blue still. And she hands it back, and she goes, okay. Now, you go and buy something or leave? Ah. Um, do you have any chains? Yes, plenty. I'd like 50 foot of chain. 50 foot of chain. Okay. And she hops down, and she is walking, you know, little... And she goes over to what seems to be a giant yarn ball of chain. Not the heavy set stuff, the lighter stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then she goes to the one next to it. Yeah. And then she starts... She filters the chain through a hole... And then the hole has a little clicker to make sure it's like 10 foot of chain. It'll mm -hmm. click. She starts cranking it, mm -hmm. and she goes, one, two, three, four, five. And then she takes the axe, <laughs> cuts off the chain, goes over to you, literally carrying 50 foot of chain on her small little back, and throws it on the counter. I'm 
Mm. Let's Wait see. Wait a minute. 150 gold. I pull out my short sword here and lay it on the table. Could you attach this to the end of the chain? Oh, that'd be extra 50. Deal. 200 gold. <laughs> okay. I I'm trying to figure out what he's doing. So, he... So what she does is she takes one end of the chain and she wraps it around the hilt of the sword and then she fuses it with hot, what looks to be gold. She had a pot of hot melted gold that she's pouring to fuse the sword and the chain uh, together. Uh, uh, one second here. Uh. So then she decides to stress test it by grabbing the chain and twirling the sword and she notices that it doesn't pop off. It's in good condition. Okay. She takes it. She puts it together. And she hands it to you. And she said, thank you. Okay. I, what I, else? I collect the chain. And I just sort of put it in my pack on my back here. Mm -hmm. I make sure it runs down my arm. And I hold it. That'll be all. And I walk out. All right. Uh, so, we're done And as you. soon as I walk out the door. Yeah. I look for something to target with. Let's see. What's something that I can look for? That no one would mind getting You had broken. to do a perception check. Okay. Uh, well, I happen to have a 7 in perception. All right. So roll a d12. d12 here. Uh, which one? Oh, d12. I think the 7. The, no, wait, the that's weapon floor he's at is right. Like eight, eight, nine, eight, that's eight. 11. 11 out of 12. This back area back here. So it's one of these high buildings. Right 11, 11 out of 12. 11 out of 12. Mm -hmm. Alright, that works. Yeah, so what you, do I find? Mark. You find some guards standing around. No, Obviously, no. Uh, so you don't see any no mages. You see regular guards. Any garbage or any anything just sitting about that no one would miss. Mm. You do notice near the gate that there are large um, potato sack bags that seem to be full of trash. That people have already taken a part of target practice by tossing daggers that are stuck in bags. Okay. Uh, I throw my short sword as hard as I can at it to see if it works the way I intend it to. Alright, so you are approximately 30 feet away at these things. Yeah. Because uh, it's 30 feet from the gate to the very end on both sides of mm -hmm. the town. So roll a percentage check to see if you actually hit the trash bag and not the guard that's standing near it. Uh, yeah, I believe I can't tell if that's a sixty or a ninety. Where's the zero? Zero six. From the inside going in. The zero will always be after the number. So it's ninety. Oh, okay. So it's ninety. 90%. Yeah. You hit the bag, and the guard standing next to it doesn't even flinch. At this point, he's just, like, he's holding up a prism, and he's looking at the colors that shine on the sun. And then I yank it back. All right, so you have a 30-foot scorpion-like chain whip. <laughs> it's a blade of chaos. 30. <laughs> and the blade itself is, like, a foot long. Yeah. So yeah. it can do what it can do a pretty decent amount of piercing damage other than just a dagger on the end of the blade. Yeah, now if I could just get that blue stuff on the end of it and give it a fire enchant, that'll be a good sort. <laughs> Alright, so now we go over to Charlie. This man uh, who's with Matt. Matt no, Wilson. Matt is with me. Yeah, Matt is with Charlie. I'm just gonna stand up and go get a cookie. Yeah. Get a cookie. Alright, so as you walk into the store, both of you. I was already there. Okay, well, he went there. to the temple first, so that means I've already mm -hmm. been there. Okay, you're yep. there, and you notice him come in, and you are talking to the store owner, who seems to be just a regular old man, nothing special about him. And he says, welcome to my store. We have a sale today. We have 15% off on all of our kits. Camping kits... Uh, okay. Explorers oh, kids, oh, no, travelers no, kids. No, you don't. No, you, this pumpkin fucker deliberately left out his own kid. He doesn't get one. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, I kind of did. <laughs> all right. Um. All right. So this, I've come here for a few reasons, sir. Hmm. First, I would like to browse your wares where, real quick. Exactly what all do you have? Look around. Perception I, check. I'm not exactly looking for anything particular. I'm just kind of curious. I rolled a three, so, and uh, you don't see what's in the back of the store, but you notice right off the hand the kits are right on a couple of shelves that are directly right next to the counter, and you see basically one of every single kit 
and it just says display only carved into the wood. So what kind of, what kind of kits are there, if I may ask? There are. Or what? What there, exactly is there? Kind of. There included? are nine types of kits. Yes, but what 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 is in there? Like I'm I'm not I don't want a whole kit. I just want a particular item. Oh, you you want to subdivide the. You know, if you want to do kits, I think there's a portion of it in the. Yeah. I was looking for it. Yeah, just look in the glossary sure see if there are kits fingers. in there. If not, I'll just look up the kits on my phone. All right. While you do that, I'll do this. Matt just dabbed on the camera. Yeah, I did. He dabbed on those haters. I'm sorry for all of you who got to witness that horrible gay shit. Matt, bring me some too. I'm kind of held down. Oh. oh, cool. I didn't. I didn't really know what to ask here. To be honest. Nice. Okay, kids, 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 kids. Mm. Kingdom knowledge. There's no kids. Thank you. Well, okay. Let me see if it's under inventory. No. Don't Oops. worry, I'll get it. Alright. See here. Yeah, just just keep doing some other things here. Yeah. All right. So I'd also like to sell some items. Oh, okay, great. I've got two extra uh, scimitars. I'd like to sell them. Okay. So we have the artisan's tools. There are the disguise kits, the forgery kits, the gaming set, the herbalism kit, the musical instrument, navigator's tools, poisoner's kit, and thieves' tools. I don't believe yeah, anything in any of those items. Okay. okay. I already got two of those. I got the disguise kit and the thieves. I mean, I could list out the specific items in each, but you know, could you um, could you take this notepad and write those down for me? Like, just write down the name of them, and I'll look up what's in them. Uh, okay. Just so I can keep a memento, in case we go up into another store and they're having to sell on kits. Okay. Yeah, I can tell you the exact things that are on them. All okay. right. So. I like to sell you two of my scimitars. Well, so I got three. We're not the weaponry, sir, but we do take anything you want. So, including dick. So, I'll take these, but for <laughs> half normal price. That's fine. A uh, hundred coin each. <laughs> Actually, no, fifty coin each. So you get hundred coin. <laughs> Excuse me, what'd you say about my prices? They're amazing. Thank you. You good? I do my best. All right. Um. Talk about weird. Next, I want to hand him the doc reporting book and ask him if he knows anything about that. He looks at it and he shakes his head and puts his hands on his face and he's like, "Oh no, 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 no!" I'm more particular that... about these items right here, and I'll point out the page with the blue stuff. In this, on these two islands, we have a pirate problem. Okay. They want to tell them about how we got here. I'm just going to leave it. On this pirate problem, we don't know exactly what islands there are, but there are other islands, small little archipelagos, away from this two islands that are connected. Now, they usually attack ships, but sometimes they'll come into the bazaar, or they'll pass through the canal... And they'll make their way over to, like, secret docks on either island. Now, it's not really my... I don't know what they do. I know that we don't sell this blue whatever this kind of metal is. But, I will say this. There was a strange looking fella that didn't look like he came from either islands. And he walked in here and tried to sell an ignit of the blue stuff. And I said I couldn't buy it because I didn't know what it was. And he walked off. He didn't say a word. He plopped it on the counter, said, can you buy this? I said, no. And he walked out. Did he leave it on the counter? No. Charlie, he took ask it. him what he looked like. What would this strange man look like? How long ago was this? Very, very scraggly. He looked like he came off of a ship. 
the man was wearing torn pieces of claw. Um, he had a vest on that had this weird contraption I've never seen before. It looked like a crossbow, but it didn't have any arrows on it. It's blunderbuss. So and so he basically it's says a pirate. Yeah, he he's a pirate. He he basically is like you ever seen like. People with weird mustaches. This guy had a weird mustache. Mm. So he basically said, "Yeah, pirate dropped this off. I couldn't buy it, and uh, he left. He left. That's it." Last question: Do you have any apples for sale? Oh, plenty. I want one. Um. Okay. You do gotta realize he he if goes com- over to the if you've literal- completely forgotten what's tied. No, I know it is tied to him, uh, but I think he's tied to your mouth. No, like, he's tied to me. Oh, wait, I'm carrying what? him with yeah, me. Yeah, he's literally he's dragging it around. Well, it's a good thing that like this old dog. man can't see very well, and he's just like you know he thinks that you just have like a a, a weird dog. He thinks there's like just weird man behind you who's next in line so he really doesn't care he's just kind of like okay so he goes over to his literal shelf that have bags of fruit he opens up one of the bags pulls out an apple how fresh is this apple it just got delivered from the bazaar um one gold coin i'll take it uh okay feed it to the mummy that's exactly what i'm would you like a canteen of water I sell those too. Mm. Canteen of fresh water. I already have. I might as well because I have no fucking water. I already yeah. have a water. Uh, they're five gold each. I'll take it. Okay, you want two? Wait, I, want I already got it. If it's, I can freeze okay. it, then I can like. Water so, and so water from that. you now have an apple, and you now have a canteen of water. You got some information which you can share among the party members once Alex is done testing his new toy, but and this dude is done looking like, for the person looking that. for. Uh, looking for the person that he needs to look for. Just looking for that. The one, whoever the hell the guards told me goes, that's part of that group. He said the shop. The cabal. Yeah. Correct. Look for the. Basically, the he he has the said cabal. all the information that he knows about the cabal to Charlie. So once you guys all meet back up in the center of the town, Charlie, discuss amongst these two people what you find. I gotta go pee. Okay. Walking the cabal the is evil. The cabal is fucking amazing. They're evil. They gave them apples. They're religious fanatics, you imbeciles. I want it. We can use that to our advantage. I will become their god. But they use the same powers as me. I will become a god. I'm already your god. You're alone. I am your king. You're a faggot. I am the king of nerds. Will you two half-breed flesh bags shut your disgusting traps? Fuck you. Who the fuck you calling half-breed? You, bitch. I'll turn you to a popsicle. You're a half toaster, half Roll toaster. initiative. I rolled a 20, bitch. We ain't rolling shit. I rolled a 20. Seriously, we I cast summon light. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. A four. I fucking failed the light. Charlie, no. We, we literally can't even do that right now because our DM isn't here. He can't do anything. Um, But look. I've been telling we're, we're not But fighting. look, I got myself a new weapon. And I show everyone the, uh, the chain... Attached to it, it, that's attached to my back, and the and the sword itself. I lick it. I want to put hey, some man. of that blue stuff on this. Well, I don't think I met the it. person I met. Yeah, was meant to talk to. Is. Yeah, you've heard he absolutely him. nothing oh, about. So it. No oh, one knows so what the just fuck it is. It's because of pirates. Stuff. Yeah, oh, it's literally, the guy who was selling at the grocery store. You're a fool. The guy you who was selling at the general store was the uncle of one of the soldiers. Uh, Listen, but he also has seen a pirate. I got nothing but a terrible description of uh, any old raggling man in poor clothes. Any of them. Well, well, then in that case, we're going for the ports. Where's the nearest port from here? Check the map. All right. Uh, so this is not necessarily a port town. That is a town stuck between two giant sand dune mountain ranges. Yes. In order for so you to get here, to. Yeah, in order for you to get to an actual port, which there's one here, but as you, as he said, there's not really anything here because it's a beach. Mm-hmm. The actual port, as you can see where the water is jutting into the land towards the bazaar, is at the bazaar. So you would need to go through the dunes. Okay, so we would have to pass through the dunes or go through the water and drown. 
Yeah. I thought water was well, then I can freeze them. Okay. You do notice that it This isn't frozen. You do notice that um <laughs> at the armory Let me see here. Yes, okay. Oh so, by the way, I would now like I would also like to go to the armory. Yes, yeah, I Okay. To get that ancient armor looked at. Alright. So are you going to the armory with him? No. Yes, he going? is. It wouldn't I'm hurt for him to, to split the party. Sit in the middle of the town and watch my zombie friend eat. His apple. Eat. Everybody's looking at you really weird right now, but they don't care. They got other things to do. <laughs> I am chaotic neutral. I can do whatever the fuck I as want. You go so to, as I. you two go to the armory, there is pretty much just looks like a cool place. You know, you got actual armor, chain mails hanging, the fur armor actually from like wildlife, like desert rats and um. Desert rats? Desert rats. Okay. Yes, giant desert rats. Actually, Rodents actually, of unusual size. That is for uh, my friend Josh, if he ever watches this. It's the dune rats. You know what it means. You mean Josh Fowler? No, uh, Josh uh, McHugh. Oh, never heard of him. Um, but yeah, the dune rats. There's dune rat pelts. There's basically all sorts of things. But in the back of the store, the very back, it looks like there is a... Small Piro like canoe and a curtain, and the boat is sitting on a little bit of water because the jail. Why didn't we take our boat with us? We should have come up with something. You can buy boats at the bazaar, which can travel you all around. Because we the were first originally here, but the boat the got armory. sunk, and our boat is in the tavern in oh, the yeah. fucking roof. Actually, you know what? The inn has boats for sale as well. Oh. I so asked. the armory has the armor guy actually has a boat that he uses to get his own shipments. He doesn't like the docks that are at the inn that is run by the town hall. Mm -hmm. I so he turns. So he's sitting there. He's sitting there at the counter, and he's. Hey, just, I came you know, here first. Let me go first. He's tapping his foot, and he's playing. He's playing an ocarina made out of clay. Mm -hmm. You know, he's enjoying some music. So he's chilling, right. and he notices. Two dragon-looking people come into his shop, and he's like, oh, shit, and he gets up, and he fixes his shirt, and he puts away his ocarina, and he goes, welcome! Um, what, what would you like to buy? We got, we got, uh, we just... I'm sitting, I'm, I'm walking in here, holding this big thing wrapped up in cloth, walking towards the counter, saying, I need you to take a look at something. Well, we do have a sale hold on, on, hold on, I got this, I got you're this. Interested. I have not here. Huh? You're not here. Shit. Sorry, I had to. Turn on the air. Turn on the air, she says. Ah, <laughs> but okay. he basically says we have a sale on pets if you uh, pelts, not pets. That's weird. Oh, you sell pets? They sound delicious. <laughs> uh, well, at least yes. want a rat. No, no, thank you. I, um, so I just put down this ancient armor and unroll it from the the knapsack. I basically his eyes go wide and. He He's like, that's no armor. How did you get that? They can only buy it at the bazaar. And even then, it, it's expensive as hell. I'm not asking whether... I'm not telling you where I got it. I want you to know, can you repair it? Um, that would... Um, I'm sorry, I had, to, I had to get out my ocarina for that. He, he looks <laughs> down at the armor and he inspects hey, 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 it. He pulls out a little magnifying up. glass. He's looking at it. He says, what is with this town and everyone using little magnifying glass? They all got very bad eyesight because of the fact that there's nothing guarding them from direct sunlight. Ah, right. They are literally okay. just 24 Continue sun. On. Continue. So they all have bad eyesight. And um, he's just like, well, I, I could try my best, but I don't think I can restore it to full power. You see, there's not much damage to it, but there is some bit. There's some piercing damage. There's obviously some dried blood on it. There is a bit of burn damage on it. Okay. Looks like it's been hit by lightning. Okay. I can repair it, but I can't make it look amazing. I can't make it look brand new, but I can make it function as brand new. Looks like it's been hit by lightning. Right. <laughs> Would you technically classify the armor as light? Um, no. This mm -hmm. null armor is actually heavy. Uh, let me see. And he takes the he takes the armor that actually looks like football shoulder pads. Caked in. Um, By the this... way, you lied to me earlier. Oh, it was medium armor. Yeah, you said it was medium. Well, let me ask you this: Does this sound medium weight to you? 
It's basically, um, I have a picture of them. All right, metal plate, right? No, not really. Okay, so that's the best one I can do in short time. This was from weeks and weeks ago. But he has shoulder pads that come down with chain mail across his chest. That sounds like his el He has elbow pads that have steel plating on the edges of it. Mm -hmm. He has a collar that's made out of titanium that kind of just clouds okay, around. Okay, no, that is not like, no. If it has steel plates and titanium, that is He has steel like. plates on the end of his elbows, steel plates on his shoulders, and steel plate around his neck. And I'd his say chest, that's heavy. And his chest is covered in chain mail that's, that stops in, and that's, right here. That's very heavy. And obviously, uh, they have pads underneath their legs, but the only thing that's visible is their stomach and their forearms and muscles. But their stomach is vulnerable. Okay, I get, I get that. Okay, so I'm saying, so I'm sitting here listening to him go on about it, all of this, and what all. it function is, and like what it looks yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. But it's at and full I capacity. And I say, well, seeing as how I don't enjoy using heavy armor, how much would you be willing to pay for this? I'll do you a favor. Okay. What is your favor? I desperately need a new canoe. You need a new canoe. I need a new Piro. I need a new. I need this new ship that I have back here. And he points to the little canoe back there, and it's a little boat that houses maybe four people in it tops. He says it can't handle four people, but what it can handle is me. I have a lot of shipments that I need to bring back from the bazaar, and the quickest way I can get back and forth there is using this boat. Mm -hmm. It's not the best condition, but I can repair it. Uh, if you give me a day, I can repair it to where it can hold four people, and I can trade it for you, and then also give you a thousand gold. Mm. So he's going to give us his boat. He's going to give him a thousand gold. And repair the armor. No, you're going to no he's selling the armor. the armor. It's heavy armor. He doesn't use it. I know. Yeah. So, like, how, but he I said he needed a new boat. boat. He, he said he needed a new boat. Armor. With the money he could get from selling this, okay, this okay, armor, I don't understand what's going on. I'm like, there's no he's going to give you some warnings about using this boat because the waters are very dangerous to navigate. Without, I mean, if you go into the center of the, if you go into this, he'll tell you. Yeah. But he basically says that's my final offer. A thousand gold and my book. I'll c I can use that thousand gold to I can use that thousand gold um, for just stuff around the shop. Yeah. But that boat I can go buy from the bazaar once I take one of my round trips. Mm. You got yourself a deal. All right. So you have a canoe that's on your back. Uh, yeah. It's a small one, but it can handle up to four people. It basically is dragging its tail across the ground as you're walking. It's about the height of you. I'm, I'm going to put it on the Allosaur. Okay, that's fine. But um, he... Oh, by the way, your Allosaur, I added wild ones into this, but they're not direct Allosaurs. They're essentially... You ever play Borderlands? Yes. They're desert dragons, but they don't spit magma. Uh -huh. They're just... They're like rhinos covered in rock. Yeah. Allosaurs do not look like rhinos at all. Okay. Well, these one do. Well, they look like dragons, don't they? I asked. Not him, even close. I asked him about. I asked the store owner about the canard. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. Its front arms are longer to the ground, and it's more closer to the ground. But its skin is covered in like a clay, dried rock to add extra armor. Oh, it's like okay. a rock on them. So it's a, it's a kraken, but it doesn't shoot lava or ice. Okay. Yeah. By the way, I just started playing Borderlands. I, I've never played it before. I played the I played the pre sequel right now. You know, now. I'm, I'm actually considering one. picking up a copy of Wolfenstein and Wolfenstein Two. Hmm. I mean, because I saw this interesting uh, video, and I'm like, okay, this has gotten my attention. Yeah, it's pretty cool. cool. Like Wolfenstein Two. I'm looking at this video here. Adolf Hitler plays a fucking movie director in there and I'm like I get to shoot Hitler in this game. I'm kind of interested in That's this. That's why I got Sniper Elite. Uh, yeah, but this way I get to shoot the old, pathetic, sad Hitler. Well, there's also Mecha Hitler that's usually in the uh, Oh my god, dude. In the Wolfenstein games. Yeah. Mecha Hitler. I asked the person if he knows 
He's fucking a cat. Why is he fucking a I cat? I asked the Storm Hunter if he could tell me any more information about the group. The Cabal? The yeah. Cabal. They're called the Cabal, dude. Remind the, yourself of that. Don't just call him a group because he's selling an idiot. The Cabal. Yeah, I am Groot. I am Groot. I am Groot. I am part of Groot. Yes, I do cabal. group activities. I ask him about the Cabal. I play volleyball. Like, that's basically what you sound like. Um, okay. He says, I don't know what the Cabal is. Got no idea what it is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That was the grocery store owner. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. yeah, he has no idea. He is just like, look, I've been to the bazaar, I work with this guy who pays for my armor, and I get more armor in return. That's all I do. I don't go anywhere deeper into that thing. I don't even know what the high city looks like. Well, I walk around the town asking about the cabal. Well, all I can tell you is talk to the grocery store owner. I think he may have something to do with them. I gotta talk to the grocery store owner. You already did! Dude! No, I didn't. You got all the information relayed from Charlie. I walk up and ask He's talking, he's like trying to, he's trying to backtrack himself. He's like, I'm gonna go talk about the cabal to the store owner. I'm like, you got all the information from Charlie. He's like, yeah, so I'm gonna ask the armory guy about the cabal. He's like, he already knows nothing. He goes, but what does he know? He knows nothing. Wait, you just said that he knows something. That's the grocery store owner! You daft motherfucker! You can see my problem with this kid now. Their whole thing. When you yeah. came out of your mom, did you shoot so fast that you hit the wall? I was a mistake. Oh, you no, know, probably in the did. words of Israfel. Mm -hmm. Israfel, really? We're gonna we're going back that far. From Shadow of Israel. I know, we're going back that far. That's you know, Minion, back. some people uh, some babies were occasionally dropped yeah, as children. You but I believe you were, were, th were thrown at a brick wall. Multiple times a day. Through the window. I hate for your beer, but I'm yeah. going to be respectful. There is waters in there. You're so going to have to straight up snort. And there's waters in the cabin. You don't want to someone. <laughs> no. Talk. I'd much rather would chase the A&W uh, cream soda. Yeah, Hello. Uh, get out of the camera, you fat buck. I can't find the cream soda anywhere. I am Walmart. I'm talking about like at a... Um, Neighborhood market, you fool. Uh, yeah. At the gas station. I go to the I town hall. Don't do... Yo, well, we haven't went to the town hall yet. <laughs> That's where I was going to go I'm gonna next. Big place I go to the town hall. Don't spill it. Oh, I won't spill it. I think no. Alex is going to the town hall. Too. Yes, we're going to the town hall to intimidate <laughs> whatever rocks, weak right? political but figure is sitting in there. Like the whole thing. I mean, the rocks. can's not going to rock it. It's not the baby. Can no, but if someone kicks it, you see how... how yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, you may want uh, to just... I just want to let you know. Yeah, let me just let me just move it back here. You know, let me pour this out. Let me All pour right. this out because it's leaking a little bit here. So you guys wetness. got your information. Wet. Yeah, you got, you got the cake. Yeah, sweat it. Now, you We're have to immediately tunnel. come to a shoreline in order to access it, right? Yeah. The you canoe? You have to go to a shoreline. Now, I haven't told them I purchased the boat yet. All right, well... With you? I mean, we kind of see it on the fucking back. Huh? And we can't see it on his fucking back. No, it's yeah. not on my back. It's on the Allosaur's back. I, I can't the see it there. Well, I what have is the weight you. limit of his fucking Allosaur? There isn't really a weight limit at the moment, but I'm not going to be using it to store a whole lot of stuff. We already have the boat and what's his face on it and a few trinkets. I'm not. You have anymore. a golem. You have the canoe, and you have a couple little trinkets on its back, like uh, let me see the embalming tool, three gold necklaces. The four magic axes. Oh wait, I need to get rid of that armor. <laughs> you do need to get rid of that armor. Yeah. But basically, you have. Other than that, you have, I can those. imagine like, uh, like crates. Like you have like two crates to the side of it, like it's a saddlebag on a motorcycle. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. All right. So you guys got all your information from so this we village. Got the, we just got the golem guy stuffed into a crate. No, we just got no, the golem guy. Is he's just tied up and hog tied. He's tied there. up, and it looks like basically an empty suit of armor. And everybody's looking at the Allosaur being like, oh, I think I've seen one of these in the desert. And, like, some people are actually trying to pet it. it it's not It's not happening. Don't touch it. It bites. Well, I mean, they don't it care. They're it. completely I mean, oblivious. It can't, it can't really hurt them because it's got the rope around its mouth. So it Unless only bites if it goes wild. It. Unless but if it goes wild, don't forget. So it's just like, admire, it's, people are admiring it. Yeah, people are admiring it. And... Oh, Some back. people are touching it. So I walk out. out of the armory here, holding the boat, throw it on it, and I'm heading for Town Hall. All right, so is everybody going to Town Hall? 
Sure. Yeah, let's go to town hall. Let's intimidate When you locals. enter in from the town hall, you notice the entrances are on the side, and you pass through a large greenery, which has a small little river pond and luscious trees and everything. It's their water supply. They I literally start. have their water supply in the center of the town. Charlie, I swear to God, if you do what I think you're As about you to do. As you go into the town hall, I think you're about to piss him. Yes, I was. There, no, but well, he's talking, so I got to okay, wait. Okay, no. so as you guys go into the town hall, you're in the town hall. You're in the town hall. You're in the town hall. Everybody in the town hall. Oprah is here giving out town halls. That'd actually be nice. I'd like the town hall of Munro so I could burn it to the fucking ground. You start attacking it. All right. So, you notice that the place looks actually pretty strange. That's because this town hall is actually a pump plant. Touch you. A pump is the plan. This is what's happening. In the town hall, underneath it, underneath what looks like to be a glass floor, you see an engine using the same rods of lightning that is transferring it back and forth, and the pump is draining the water from the ocean and filtering it and then spreading it out through the town. So that's their water supply is directly underneath this heavy-duty glass floor. And it's basically charged by the storm of the other island. I don't know. Uh, well, there is a battery in it. The same kind of battery, but slightly larger in the gall. Okay, I'm going, certainly larger I'm going golem. to see and look if there are any entrances on the side there. So I can go in and see if I can find whoever's in charge. I use my odor to sight. Before you do, you hear a large no boom. Yeah. And um, this guy falls from a balcony and hits the floor with a thud. And when he hits the floor with a thud, his head cracks and he starts bleeding. And then you see the town mayor walk over to the balcony, look down, and go, fuck. He looks up, sees you four, double I, fuck. I shout, I won't tell nobody, but we do need to talk. Come up here. There's some stairs to the left. I loot the dead body. <laughs> now let's go up. I loot the dead you body. You loot the body. Come on. Let's you go get. Up. Okay, you get a, a bag of uh, hundred gold pieces. He gets AIDS. As you go up, you notice that it's act it's just a bedroom, and there's a table in the center of it, and instead of a bed, it's just a luscious uh, love seat couch, kind of like this one, but more elegant, with, mm -hmm. like red leather. It's a better hole. Sorry. I mean, it's good, but it's... Yeah. Okay. I mean, well, obviously, it's comfortable. Okay, so uh, we're coming in here. I it's say, I take it you're the mayor, right? I run this town, yeah, because I'm the only one with access to Stop the water supply it. underneath it. But look, uh, yeah, what you saw there was a small dispute. I don't care what I just saw. What do you want? Drugs. We've come to warn I you. Got, actually, I got a few, but we, I'm not giving them to We've you. come Lots to warn you. Well, Can you teach me to make The blood? vampires are planning an invasion. Tell me something new. <laughs> so you already know. I know a lot of things. I know that every single time I see a hooded person with a shower over their face and their pale skin, they're I know they're, they're not human, and I know that that motherfucker on the ground isn't human either. What so makes you think he's dead, then? Easy. Uh, maybe you should go back down and ensure that he is No, isn't. I know exactly why he's dead, because of these. And he flashes three darts with small capsules attached to them that are filled with holy water. Water blessed from the chapel. Get that shit away from me. He's an elf. I wasn't going to no, prick I, you. I, have, I, I call him the demon lord. Oh, right. He's Get that shit away from me. How much okay. would you, uh... First off, where's his pants? I put my pants back on yeah, earlier. He did put his pants back on. Oh, he did? Yeah. Never mind. Never mind. Call that. Uh, cover your nipple, then. Yeah, please cover your nipples. I it's freeze his nipple. Get away from me. I freeze his nipple. Imagine Mitt Romney in a gold cloak. <laughs> That's essentially what this dude looks like. <laughs> he just looks like a shady Mormon. He just looks like a shady fucking Mormon. Okay, okay. I'm like, okay, no, first. Oh my god. How much would it cost me to get one of those darts? Oh, you can get them from the weaponry in town. They sell them. They're anti-vampire repellent. 
thing. It comes with if life. If I any of them, I will send you through a void of nothingness. Hmm. I, got I will my send plane. you to the seven circles you of hell. You gotta leave here first. Ah, but you're I part of the party. You can't just leave. You're in the middle of conversation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. just Empire. hold the fuck up. Hey, you fat bitch, what up? Hey, you fat bitch. You fat, fat bitch. Okay, then, okay. So, yes, I just wanted to, to say that. Um, Kibbles. Yeah, the vampires are planning to... Uh, by the vampires, I don't mean a singular small group of vampires. I mean the actual king himself. Well, let me tell you this. Those, the vampire that I just kicked off the balcony and that came in here trying to kill me, all he wants to do is destroy the water pump system. And apparently somebody from the Desert Kingdom has been over there causing some ruckus too. There's a lot of fighting between here. Many people would like to keep it on the downloads, not worry the citizens. For me, I just stay in here and make sure this pump's working. Because if the pump stops working, we ain't got no energy and oh. we ain't got no clean water. And speaking of water, I just so happen to have acquired a new boat. Is there any chance you could direct us to the nearest source of water to get us around the dunes? I can do that. Walk There's in two. one direction until you hit it. There's three ways. I'm pretty sure you got that boat from the armory. Yes. Uh, because, I mean, you can rent a boat, but it's more like from the inn. Mm. At the inn, there's some rooms and there's some boat houses where you can access the water through there. And then we have water near the jail cell where we actually drown our prisoners. That's our execution block. Oh, interesting. Yeah. We tie, we tie a heavy, heavy iron bricks to their necks and then toss yeah. them into a well. Mm. Nice. And they drown. You don't, you don't use stone. No. But what we do use is we use gasoline once we stack the bodies high enough so we can burn them to ash and then they hit the water and then it just, it repeats the cycle. You know? Uh, it's not the cleanest way of killing, but hey, we got a lot of people because I don't like people. Okay, then. Well, that's all that I need and provided that these two, whatchamacallits, I use the hey, tall and nipless, what do you want? What do you, why do you come here? I know I what this dude wants. I wanted to show you something. I pulled the defective sword of warning out of my asshole. <laughs> I warned you, buddy. Oh, I got one of those, too. And he squats down and shits out a dagger. It's the same thing as yours. Does it say, I wouldn't trust this lizard fuck? I asked no. him if I could buy it. He, it's... And it does his actually it. work? He, yeah. His actually works. He shits... He, he basically, like, reaches... It looks like he's pulling out his back pocket, but he's really pulling out his butt cheeks. And he said, and that sword, in a tiny, squeaky, Alvin the Chipmunk type voice, goes, Run, you fools! And then he just goes, and puts it right back in there. That was the most terrifying thing I've ever seen. I and then I proceed to vomit up a dagger, and I said, I do this, but that is sick. How do you think it got there? I... Uh... <laughs> I take one damage. <laughs> yeah, take one psychic <laughs> damage. I asked him no. if I could buy it for him. Um, <laughs> you want his butt dagger? Yes! <laughs> no. Let me just tell you, you really don't. Because when you pull it out and that voice wakes you up at night, you want to put it back in. Anyway, y'all can get the, <laughs> you all can get the fuck out of here now. I got to make sure the pump is working because I think that vampire asshole may have broke the holy seal on the pump. <laughs> I use on book site. Yeah, it basically makes the water supply to where vampires can't drink it or even touch it. It's essentially acid to any undead. Uh, you uh, told any undead. I noticed you have a zombie. We yeah. ain't drinking the Wait water. Wait a minute. I recognize that zombie. Yes. That's I, brown. I, what are you doing, brown? I saved him. From I kept the telling dead. him to leave him alone and let him try and farm his. I apples. mean, brown's pretty pathetic. He came in here one day asking if he could join the community, and I told him a house was this much, and the bastard tried to offer me some dried tomatoes, and ugh, they didn't look right, so I just told him to fuck off. Well, I... He died. He died in the desert. He obviously. tried to farm, and he died. Yeah, obviously. You can't <laughs> farm in here without proper irrigation. He that's tried why, to irrigate it. That's why people brought buy an agriculture kit from the bazaar. It comes with some pikes and some... Plow, trows, and everything else. I use Eldritch Sight because you what said... What was it called? 
There is no, there's a herbalism kit, but that's, that's not agriculture. Herbalism? The herbalism kit, and it has like, their version of herbalism kit is uh, the same, although you can buy an upgraded kit that comes with a farming thing. Okay. It's for if you guys set up camp in the desert, it allows you to grow food. Okay. Oh, okay. You, when I well, was outside of the... I, I walk out. I'll so he's out. Mom. Okay, what well you got? You s when you know when I was outside, and I used electric sight. You said there was magic in there. Yeah. I used electric sight again to see exactly what it was. The seal is in fact broken. The, the seal is the magic, but it's the broken. seal is in fact broken on the water pump now, system. Now, Kitty, if you're so if you're trying magic. to have the sex water pump with my system bag, is uh, the water pump system is basically it uses gravity you know. to drain the water from the uh, from the ocean outside or from the sea. Huh? She rides. Like, it drains water in from the sea over here, and then it pulls it in, and then it pushes it back out and uses that turret as a way to generate mm -hmm. energy for the entire town. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll leave. All right. Farmer Brown is with me because I'm giving him new hope to restart his farm. You've already left. He's Goodbye, dead. Sir. Goodbye, sir. Cool. And while you're at it, pick up his rotting skin patches that he's leaving all over the ground. No. You. Cool. I toss one of the daggers to the back of your neck. Combat initiated. Mm -hmm. I grabbed it. No, it's just... No, not a dagger. The dart. The dart pokes you, but your skin's tough, and it doesn't actually break through it. Good. Because it's designed specifically for vampire killing. I take it. Zombie skin... Since You've already left. You can't take it. It can pierce zombie left. skin, but it won't do anything. It can pierce vampire down. skin, because vampires are weak to the sun. But to him, it just bounces off of him. Somebody has to actually stab him with those tiny little darts. So... Yeah. All right, so you guys are outside. You're back in uh, Shadnava. Uh, I say we get out of wait, this Wait, wait. So where was the place that they said that... Uh, the darts of holy water. The They're at the weaponry. We get to the weaponry. Let's go back to the weaponry, and then we'll leave. Old lady looks at you. He says, oh, you again, big ugly lizard fuck. What do you want? I... Oh, another ugly lizard fuck. You look pathetic. Hi. You son of a... Holy man. shit. How Tall many... Dude. How many darts can you make? Ah, uh, what kind? I have blood darts, yeah, poison darts. No, no, no. You know Holy. the kind of darts. Oh. The kind that the mayor uses. Anti-vampire darts. I'll take yes. some blow darts. Does that come uh, with a job? You <laughs> shut up. I can't hear you from that height. <laughs> Ouch. She, I, I make her sound Asian, but she's not. She's a very she short Asian She's now? aggravated. What fuck you want? What does she want? What does she want? Come get you son. Right. No, no, no. It's what fuck you want? What talk you want? No, what fuck you want? What fuck you want? What no. fuck you are? No, what fuck you want? What the, what fuck you are? What fuck you too? No, no, no. What? I don't know. What fuck you want? Oh, what fuck you want? Yeah. All what right. fuck you want? Anyway, she said she gives you an actual small little. It looks like a, a first aid. It for, looks like a first aid kit. Yeah. And she opens it up, and it has oh, ten oh, darts oh. in it. She says, I give to you for, mm, let's see, how much did I give you for chain? Uh, 200. No, that was just 100. No, it, was it, was like 100 it was 150 for the chain. It was 150 for the chain and the 50 to add sword to it. Yeah. yeah so, so that's 200. Uh, same exact bit for darts. So 200? Yeah, I can, he, she can accept trade. Okay, then yeah, 200. All right. Because I, I got 1,665. I asked her if she I've gets got any 19, more. Thousand. She hands you another case of it. It's still the same price. Wait, wait. So 200? Okay. So 2,465 two now. Uh, I am very good at doing this. You know what? Business. Yes. Sure. I buy two he cases. He has two cases of darts. He bought two. Oh, he bought two? Well, yeah. good. Good, 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 good. Stack up. Because um, there's war coming. Well, there's one particular village in the desert island that has vampire residents, but only because the sun is blocked off by a giant cliff. Oh, you you mean you didn't know? Hmm? The vampire kingdoms are planning to invade. Yeah, I know that. They're going to cross the sea. Yeah, I know that. Well, they're not technically going to cross the sea. They're actually coming in from the canal at the base. I That's why Canhaven is about to be destroyed. Suggs is leading the battle from Canhaven across the canal to hit the Rubaya Kingdom. I, I think he was talking to the shop owner. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But I was just saying, as I, I'm DM, sorry, I'm, I, I'm, I'm confused here. You said that the vampires are invading, which they are. There is going to be a battle at the canal. Wait, wait, is this the shopkeeper saying it or you? This is the DM. 
Okay, well, do no, you, that's not okay. what I'm confused with here. Wait, I'm sorry, did you just say Suggs is leading a march? You're talking to DM or No, Shopkeep? I'm talking to Shop. Did you just say... Shopkeep didn't say that. Oh, Shop, okay, never mind. Yeah. Shopkeep basically said it's 200 for the darts. They gave uh, 200, uh, it's 400, so you gave up 400 gold yep. for the two things. Okay, now she looks at Tallboy when he wants. So technically I got 20 darts. He, I think he's just following me because he can't find anything better to do. You guys what? might be attached to you. Yeah, he got yeah. it. That's fine. I'm here to give him new Oh, hope. actually, do you have a, a plow? Do do. Okay. Do do. Do do. Do do. She gets off her thing. And she goes and looks around the shelves, and then she grabs this trunk, and she drags it out, and she pulls out a, what looks, it looks like a plow, but the way it's shaped is, it, it has a plow tip like that, mm -hmm. and then there's a metal pole that sticks out like that, so it looks like a giant oversized spear, where it comes off at a pyramid head, where you can dig it in the ground and push it yourself to make a trench. Um, with the pole added to it. Farmer she Brown. Said, she said, I don't know why you want this. Farmer Brown, zombie. Do you want? I say, like pointing at it. You speak for the zombie. Yeah, speak for the... He's your zombie, yeah. Uh, you want? Uh, How much? Mm, yeah. 125. Okay, fine. I'm paying 125 gold. 125. Yeah. Alright. So, he hands you. Now, you have that in your Put inventory. Put that in your inventory, yeah. Mine? Yeah. Because, because he's no. yours. He's yeah. yours. you got to carry Imagine, okay, imagine Farmer Brown is essentially summoning the undead, but you can only summon him. Oh. Okay, 146 mi uh, minus 125. I might I'm as well give you the here. stats for him, if you want. No, because he's just a zombie. So you're not going to use him as any like battle companion? No, no he's no. just following me once we get over here. I mean, here. you can use your mount as a battle once companion. Once we get back over here, uh, I'm thinking we're just going to find a nice place for him to we're sit going, down. We're going to kill some, We're going to kill Marshall, and we're going to take his land and then Which give it to Which one? Them. All of them. All of them. Then give, then give Farmer Brown the land. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, we're oh going, my god, a zombie mare. I, I love we're going idea. to give zombie mare Farmer Brown. He's going to make <sighs> nothing but apples. Eh, that's great. Yeah. He's farming for apples. He, no, the he, apples he doesn't so even he build tomatoes. Salt. You give him a tomato and he's just like... <laughs> like attacks the villagers. Yeah. Um, okay. I attacked everyone with tomatoes. So are you guys going to leave? Yeah. Oh, yes. yeah. Okay. okay, so now we're on our way. You gotta go to, so are you going to use the boat or are you going to go out through the desert? Well, area? now here's, here's the problem. Okay, yeah. here's what I'm thinking. You two should get on the boat because the Allosaur is not going to fit in the boat. No. So I'm going to have to ride the Allosaur through the desert. You're going to have to cross through the dunes. The dunes, yes. All right. So, are you guys really going to get in the boat? Yes. All right. You guys can either go through the jail or through the inn. Wait, we haven't went to the jail yet. We haven't gone to the jail. There's jail, and it's attached to the guard station. Before The I... jail, they use a canal system to basically drain their bodies and send them out to sea once they're done killing them. Let's check out and the jail before you we can go out through I that way. We don't... Or you no, can go out through the inn. Let's go. Yeah. Let's, Let's go out through the inn because I don't want to have to fight All right, anymore. So you go to the inn and the innkeeper is like, he notices you're carrying a canoe. And he goes, oh, just to access our port, it's free. Go out the front, go around the back, and go onto the docks. You can walk off into there. I'm surprised there wasn't a go out to the front, go around the back, and go fuck yourself. No. He basically is saying, yeah, you can access our ports for free. Okay. And now you're riding through with the Allosaur. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to have to go through the desert. So we have effectively just split the party here. Yeah, that's, so, a, that's not a good idea. So where, no, are we, where are we launching from? Okay, so here's where you guys are launching from. Charlie, you guys are on the boat, and you guys... You know, we actually, never went to that place, did we? No, that's a... Um, let me see, that's... Oh, okay, I know what that is now. Uh, it is... That's... That's Nevin... Shadwa... Okay, so what that is. All right, that place is really that's the place that has vampires in it because these uh ah, so these we're not place, going to bother. Yeah, these yeah. dunes kind of block the sunlight. Okay. I mean, there are stuff there, but it's not really that important. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, mm. you guys start off right here on this canal system and you can travel along the Golden Beach 
and once you get to the Golden Beach, you can enter in the port system there. Now, that is approximately a day-long trip across the shoreline. You can make it there faster if you go out to the sea and you try to ride the waves back over, but the waves are very dangerous and you may have to fight sea creatures. I'm pretty sure we just need to stay on the shore anyway. Yeah, yeah. let's... Because that would be the best way Alex. to not get yeah. lost. Now, I'm going to have Your to cross... Alex crosses the beach, the bridge, which leads you right to the dunes. Yeah. You cross over to the dunes and you arrive in Nevenok. And Nevenok... Uh, once you pass through Nevenok, you gotta go through dunes again. Hold on, I wanna see what's going on in Nevenok since I'm going there. Alright, but that means you're basically on a solo mission right now. A solo mission, yes. I've sent my friends ahead to see what they can find out. Now, we'll come back to you guys after Alex arrives on Nevenok. Alright. So, let me pull up Nevenok. This is an exciting adventure. Fuck well, you, not good. No, seriously, I'm probably going to get something for you guys if there's something there. Here we go. I want okay. crack. So as you arrive... I want cocaine. I need something to make pot. I got pot leaves. Do you? Yes. Look at his inventory, does he? Bag of pot leaves. Oh. 25 leaves. Why didn't you just wrap it in some linen? I was like, why? You just smoke the leaves, you dumbass. You pick, you pull the seeds and smoke the leaves. While we're oh, on okay, the boat so ship, I smoke one. All right, so never not. Let me it's out. between the two. I smoke two. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, I'm trying mind. to see if I'm oh, no, doing it. No, 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 no. How about how we do this? We pass two of them around. We do them one at a time. We just yeah. pass them back and forth. Yeah, you know that's so something good. You, that's circle. something you guys can do. Well, I'm, you know, we'll make a pot circle with farmer. Oh, farmer that's farmer. the name of the town. So yeah, many are we that using? town is all Mars. Use two, all Mars. But we're gonna I pass want you to around do something. It sounds like all Mars. So I got twenty-three. I want left. you to jumble up the word all Mars and see what other words you get. Marshall. I know. Yes. Yeah. Every island, every city on the islands are the exact opposite of everything. Ah. Because Rabia is the opposite of High Bar. Wow. And Haven Dash versus Nevenok. All right, so we got a wall, so I'm yeah. going to give a take. Okay. Uh, so, you arrive at... Um, yeah, just, you arrive at Nevenok. Yeah. yeah let, okay. me, let me see the map there. Okay. This is what you got. Yeah, okay. Okay. Let's... let's take All right, a look. so the got? orange is the cliff side where there's clay. They have a water system in the center. There is greenery around the place, and there's a beach side because there's a beach here and a beach here. No, but because of the restroom, so. Cool. Okay, then, so I'm not going to dilly dally around in here too much. All right. Um, I don't think that there would be anything very interesting in the store, so I decide to immediately go for Town Hall. All right. In Town Hall. It looks pretty decent, mm -hmm. and that actually is the most normal town you'll come across. This is what it looks like. Uh, okay, that's that's pretty normal. That's Skyrim-esque right there, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it actually is the only place where there's a majority of the greenery. Mm -hmm. And the person who's running the town is an actual farmer. Oh. He comes down a set of steps where vines are curling around the bars, and he nods his hat to you, and he says, Welcome. Welcome to Nevenok. Now, as you can see, we have very luscious greenery everywhere, and we have golden beaches, and we have this lovely You don't rock. have to sell me on your tourism. Well, I mean, we have, I have to figure out why you're here. Oh, I'm only here to mention something. Oh, well, go ahead. The vampires are going to invade. Well, then. Um, we, we've seen some of them come to the island. We're familiar with one of them, and maybe a couple more. But um, here's the thing. We don't worry ourselves too much with them. They know how to turn off your protection systems. Well, we don't necessarily have them. This town is not messed with because of the fact that we don't wish to fight. We are pacifists and we don't care necessarily for both sides. Hmm. Interesting. Well, if that's all that... We... But there is something about this place. Oh, one other question. Go ahead. 
Have you seen any pirates? Ah! Yes. Where are they? You can find them in the inn. They're in the inn. Very good. There are a group of them that are in the inn that usually come in from the beach sides. Yeah, keep talking. They, they come in from the inside of the beaches, and they usually walk onto the boardwalk and then proceed to walk to the inn to where they drunkenly stumble back into their little canoes and then row out to their ships. Is there one in there currently? Maybe. Oh, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Maybe. Maybe not. Very well. If that is all, I will be making my leave of this town as soon as I conduct what business I have. Before you do, and he says this as he grabs you mm -hmm. by the shoulders and uh -huh. is looking directly up into your many eyes. Yeah. No fear behind this man's eyes whatsoever. Mm -hmm. He says sternly, you have no idea how much we have worked to build this place. If you destroy it, or if you mess and break I anything, have no intention of staying here. I'm matter. actually going to leave. We will hold you here. If you even break a glass in the inn, we will drown you in the town square. I will not be doing anything. Very well. No, I only have... I only need a slight bit of information from those disgusting salt-eyed flesh bags that walk in. Very well. Now... When you enter in, mm -hmm. the town hall should be on the far end, right? Yeah, that's the town okay. hall. So the inn is, is right there next to it. All right. See how... See, the way it is, is the town hall is looking down at the inn. You did say that this town... This is Nenevok. Mm -hmm. Okay. This yeah, it's like Cabin did. It, cabin Yeah. Um, okay. It's Haven Dash. Haven Dash. Backwards. That's the one... That's the city where it was charged by electrical energy. Okay. This one, it obviously has a waterfall, which is where the water supply is. It comes out of the clay. Okay. And it fills in. And it, uh, and where the town hall is, that's the highest point. And those little jagged places are the steps. Okay. So the inn is actually in the lower sanction. There is at least three sanctions. There's like... In Skyrim, you know how when you walk through the gate... Yeah, come take a seat. You have... The first, and then you go yeah, up to the second, and then you go to cloud, mm -hmm. uh, whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I I go in there and I just stand in the doorway looking around for a sec. Should I do a perception? Mm. No. They make themselves known. Oh, the pirates make themselves known. Three pirates are sitting at the bar. Mm -hmm. They are all loud. Very loud, ruckus, talking in shanty code, mm -hmm. where it seems like they're slurring their words and everything is followed by a grunt. Hold on, just 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 hold off on that till you get back, because we want the camera to be able to pick up the noise. Yeah. I hope you're all enjoying the stream so far. It's it's been loads of fun for us. We like it. Isn't that right, man? I can't wait to see what it's going to be like for you guys when you get to the next city. So what happened so far? Uh, well, basically, I've talked to the town hey, hall, sufficiently to... scared the shit out of the mayor, and then, pers well, not really scared shit out of him, but I did warn him that the vampires were planning to invade, you know, with our little plan of spreading chaos. Uh, and now I'm in the uh, inn trying to get us aligned to, that me to those metals by allying ourselves with the... Pirates. Mm. So that's what you're working on right now? Yes, that's what we're working on right now while you and Charlie are sailing uh, to the next town. Uh, while we're smoking pot on a boat. Pot smoking boat. Pot smoking boat. Very oh, nice. Wait, we're sh sharing with the zombie too. Oh, yes, zombie. The zombie, pot as he boat. like inhales, the, the smoke's actually exiting through his chest because his lungs are just spread. basically popped. Yeah. So, it's still game time. when you walk into the bar, yeah, they're very loud. And they're very loud, talking in shanty speak. They're all like, oh, you think you're loud. They're just like drooling over the barmaid, tugging at her skirt, holding up giant mugs of ale and just sloshing it around. I know how to speak their language almost immediately. Next round's on me. They all whip around on their stools and they go, 
Oi! Look at a lizard prat! Fuck! You need to come sit here! <laughs> Come sit next to us! I begin laughing happily, pretending to be drunk myself, and I come sit down. Oi, I just came in on a shipment. By uh, the way, have any of you seen that blue stuff? Oh, yeah, me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. We, we don't disclose uh, where that came from. Um, we gotta keep it tight lit. Otherwise, the captain, he's gonna knock a silver ball upon the neck, and they all three, like, grab their head, like, <laughs> Ah, okay, okay. Uh, ooh, but wait, where'd be the captain? Hey, uh, he's off, off into the waters. We, we come in from the beach side, ah. right here, and... We come in, we park our boats, we go across the desert, we come to this place, we drink, and then we leave. Would you mind if I come back? I'd love to have a word with him. I'd love to broker a deal, if you wouldn't mind. We can't allow anybody who's not one of us to join the ship. It. Sorry. We can't even, like, uh, it's just, um, it's not a race thing. But you're not human. Uh, we sorry, you're cool, and all for bottling the drinks. Uh, by the way, about uh, how much were the drinks? Uh, for a round of them, it's just uh, let's see. I want to consider a round like four beers. Yeah. So four ales, which is about ten piece, and there's three people, so 120. Okay. Okay. So hold on. 120 for about four mugs of beer for three pirates each. Okay. Well, since you can't take me to the captain, and the captain ain't here... Oh, I, wait. We got some of the blue staff on us right now. And then one of the other two pirates look at him like, Shut the fuck up! And then he goes, Hey, wait. He could possibly buy it off of us. That was my intention. I needed a large shipment. Well, we don't have a large shipment, but I got this. And he... Cracks this blue ignit onto the counter. It's a full uh -huh. ignit a full of the ignit. blue yeah. matter. Yeah. He doesn't disclose where it comes from. He just says, "Oh yeah." How much would you want for it? Ooh. How much you willing to pay? Well, for just an ingot and no knowledge about the metal itself, I'd be willing to pay five hundred. Ah, that's too small for me. Well, then what do you want? Let me see your inventory. Let me see what you got on you. Okay, okay. Okay, now some of that stuff I'm not 100% sure on. Thieves tools, a thousand ball bearings, ten foot of string, bell, candles, pistols. Uh, is it pistols? No, it's pit, uh, ten pittons. Yeah, pitons. Pitons. They're for climbing. Oh, okay. Um, we might actually be wanting that because pirates can't necessarily climb the cliffs. Ooh, okay then. I got some pitons. Um, uh, hang on. A lantern, oil flask. I do have some stuff in the Allosaurus saddlebag too at the, at the back page. Hold on. <laughs> What's that shiny gold dagger you got there? Oh, you mean this? Wait, what, what dagger? It's, the, it's a dagger of Arabia. Oh, or the dagger of Baya. Hey, no. <coughs> so I'm gonna restart the stream real quick and then make sure it's saved onto my phone because yeah. on. YouTube we will be right back, folks. It just says that it's been interrupted. So oh shit! Sure. Okay. Make it well, right. that's why I had to save. Well, we'll make it part two, and in the meantime, we can like we can look for lunch maybe or.